Hey, I, I don't even have the ability to do mods. <laughs> anyway, we're officially live now. So I'm gonna... <coughs> I wanna see if you can watch and it doesn't cause too much lag. That's been an issue lately for some reason for me. Where like OBS is just like lagging now when I do that. But I want I want you to be able to view it in real time, so it's fucking annoying. Okay. Oh so Hit the select button. Why? I don't know, it's set it's set on on the thing. On the thing in Rayman 3. Oh, use Press the directional the buttons. Oh, select okay. button. It just tells you the controls for the menu. I remember one time I was I was playing Rayman three Rayman three on my PS2 and I was on like a a Skype call with a friend of mine who was playing oh. it over at his place. So we were kind of just racing to see who could finish it first. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Where the hell? Did I post the fucking link to the stream? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm stooped. Uh, okay. So let's see. Post it here. I'll send it to you too, so you can keep up with the chat. And you, you can make some joke about how I just said you too. I don't know their music that well, so... That's that's. I would never make that joke because that joke is not funny. <laughs> you're you're just not a funny guy. You're not that guy, pal. I had a guy. <laughs> but you're not that but guy. No, I don't. <laughs> you are not the guy. You are not the. Guy. You will never be the guy. You are incapable of being the guy. I had a guy, but now I don't. Silly, silly show that is. Silly, silly Breaky Bad. What a what a silly show! Uh, show your children, your family, your old old members of your family, your grandpa, your grandma. They are all they are all love it. They all love you. What the fuck is this <laughs> joke? <laughs> what is? Welcome back to the Hain stream. Welcome to the Hain and Kane Power Hour. <laughs> Drew, this is the first time you've ever been on one of my streams uh, alone, yes. like with no with no one else, with with no. Uh... So no pressure, except intense pressure. Uh, you've got to be better than you've ever been, ever. I'm almost. I'm, I'm always at my best. I forgot. Wow, your best kind of sucks. Up. Then. You know what I'm gonna. Uh... <laughs> you can't say it here. I can't say that. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. You got the message. Why do you sound like you're in a fucking submarine now? Because I was plugging in my fucking my other monitor so I can I can keep track of both things at once. Ah, fair enough. All right, I'm going to get the chat up now on my phone so that I can keep track of it myself as well. And hopefully the game doesn't lag to shit. That on my main monitor and the chat on my second monitor. And, and that way we have two monitors. Lance okay. Charleston, hey oh fuck Move. off. What 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 get out of you, chat. You can't say welcome to the stream, Lance. What do I call what do I do what give me a funny name? If you say Gwimbly, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Can't even write that anyway, there's not enough words. There's not no. enough letters. Um do you should do M uh U N T I Munti 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 There you go Munti 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 Whoa you good? Oh Jesus Christ that took a while <laughs> Ubisoft Ubisoft oh, Ubisoft 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 I be hard <laughs> They're... Terrible. Their new logo sucks, by the way. I know that we've been saying this for years, but it just looks like a top-down poop. I... Their logo now is bad. 
but it used to be a bit better, like back when it was like purple. Back in like the um, the Rayman Raving Rabbits days. I don't really remember that logo as well. I remember this rainbow logo. I remember the logo from like the Origins and Legends era, and then I remember the shitty new logo. Yeah. Shit, I caught the Ray-Ban stream. Yeah, we're spo sponsored by Ray-Bans. Buy some sunglasses that are overpriced. Ray-Ban stream. I'm never getting a sponsorship from them now. <laughs> wow. I don't think you're the audience for Ray-Bans, to be honest. What? What do you mean? <coughs> Who is the audience for Ray-Bans? Rich people, I guess. Or p people who need glasses. Play Gwimbly Adventure 2 instead. I thought it would be you. I thought it would be you that would make a joke like this first. <laughs> this is my chat, no. It is kind of funny how, how Rayman, Rayman is just Gwimbly, though. I feel like, like they. I feel like they were more like cartoon, hmm? cartoon mascot platformer. The the company. The, it basically fucking made Ubisoft into what it is right now, and yeah. now they just neglect him. Well, I mean, a big part. I, I think. I think the the big problem with that is that it's just a lot of games can fit the that that character, like what yeah, they're talking true. about, like Spyro or or even Crash now. Banjo-Kazooie. Um, Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo was definitely one of the big ones, probably. Although he's, like, styled more like PS1 games, so... I don't yeah. know. Welcome to the stream, Elijah, and welcome to the stream, Duck. Ew, ew, ew. It's, very, it's a very obvious joke, so I wanted to throw it out as fast as possible to see what Hayne had to say about it. <laughs> well, now you know. So, my opinion on Rayman 3 is that it is personally my favorite... 3D Rayman, which of course there's not exactly much choice. Um, there's two, unless you want to be yeah. a pedantic asshole and count all of the different versions of Rayman 2 as different games. Um, I can't say definitive, definitively which one I like more, two or three, because they're both quite different. It's true. I, I think I just like three's tone more. Um, and I, I prefer its combat over Rayman 2. Like, oh, yeah, no, bar barring whichever version of the game you're playing, Rayman 2's combat- Rayman 3's combat is actually, like, really- God damn it, I hate these red lumps. Fuck you! Yeah, you, have to, you have to get all of them. You just have to stay on one side of the screen, you don't have to, uh... It's just something I- I, I never, like, think about this opening, uh, when replaying the game, because I, it's- it's over so quickly. Yeah. Uh, this personally also has my favorite voice cast for the characters. I I love Billy West as Murphy. Oh, this place is crawling with them. Uh, Billy West. I love Billy West as Murphy, and uh, I love John Leguizamo as Glowbox. That is the voice I hear when I think of Glowbox. I'm I'm kind of the same with Rayman as I am with Sonic. Like I I I, I like him more when he shuts the fuck up. I mean, Rayman himself doesn't really talk that much, it's the other characters that talk for him, and I think that works yeah. better. Rayman still talks sometimes in in uh, in, in 3, more so than 2. Um, yeah. But when he talks, it's, it's, um... He's like the only character in this, in, in both, in, especially in 2, but in this game that doesn't have, like, some sarcastic attitude going on. And I think mm -hmm. that, that works really well. Yeah. Ooh, Elijah ooh. says, I want Crash 5. Well... Yeah, welcome to the club. Toys for Bob is independent now, right? I don't know. They're. Come on, I'm kidding. Hey. I don't think they're making Crash Five right now. Yeah, their last Crash game did so well. Rumble? Ooh, that was yeah. a. Yeah, no, but I. That was I, a I, move. I think, I think Toys for Bob split from uh, from Activision. Good on them. I think yeah. I I think I would do the same if I was forced to work on COD. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he reads the manual. Yeah, it's fun. And it's got the classic Rayman 1 face on it, too. Yeah. This is still my favorite version of Rayman's design to this day. Like, I, I like I like the Origins and Legends one, 
but it, it, that one just doesn't work in 3D at all. This this has always been my favorite looking version yeah. of Rayman. And that, I'm even counting the in-game version of uh, Mario and Rabbids 2. Um, yeah, no, Mario and Rabbids 2, I, I, there's a couple of things I don't like about that design. It's, it's, it's mainly the hair. Yeah, I hate that it's like a tube. I hate their tubes. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. It looks like uh, like string cheese pre-string, you know? Yeah, true. Like it's it's partially been peeled at the top and that's it. Yeah. Um I I, I think that design still looks really good. Uh but yeah, the hair is off-putting to me and there's there's like some subtle things I would change. The promo render for that version of Rayman looks like crap and I will never never not think it looks like garbage. <laughs> It, it, it's 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 like the weird juxtaposition between Rayman's in-game model in 2 and yeah. his promo model in 2. Like, they don't look like the same thing at all to me. It's really weird how that happened. Yeah. Do you think they're, they'll ever make a new Rayman game? Nope. Like, a, like a full Absolutely one? not. <laughs> because, I I don't know, lately, lately they've been giving him a whole lot more attention than they used to. Like with the Laserhawk show, too. And it's like, hmm. I Maybe. It feels, I don't maybe. know. Maybe. I, I just, I don't get super hopeful for things returning these days. Things that are actually good that deserve to return over things that uh, have no reason to, to return. Yeah. Rayman's just not profitable for Ubisoft. Like, yeah. they'll, they'll never do it unless either it's an incredibly budget title that'll probably just be a remake first before, uh, before anything new. Um, but like, hmm? they made fucking Skull and Bones. <laughs> Yeah, but they were, like, legally required to make that game. That, that, that's true. That's true. But, like, I, I don't know. Like, they made plenty of games that weren't profitable to them. Well, I guess they thought they, they would be, but... That's the thing, though. Big companies don't want to make small games that, like, might be profitable when they, they, they know what's focus-tested and what works. Yeah. Like, a, 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 just a collection of these games, let alone, like, a remakes or a new entry, would probably do really well, but they're never gonna do it. Yeah. That is also a thing, like, if, if they were ever to bring this back, it would probably be a remake first, yeah. and then maybe, but if probably we're really not, lucky, get a new if game. If really yeah. lucky. And, um... I don't, I don't even think I would want a remaster of these games, because based off of the very little we've seen of the Beyond Good and Evil remaster, they don't know what the fuck they're doing! <laughs> and neither do I, apparently. You can stand down here? What the fuck? Is this supposed to happen? Is it, like, frozen, or what the fuck is it? Oh, the stream is, like... I... What the fuck is going on? Um... I didn't know you could stand down there. I thought that would kill me. I think that's the only time I've ever fallen down there my entire time playing this game. Lance Charleston says, I like Rayman's, Rayman 2's design, but I like Rayman 3's design more than Origins and Legends. Because at least they're... Because at least, at least here it actually looks like floopy ears instead of a messy bush of hair. Mm. I don't know. I've, I, I've always preferred when it looks like hair. Although I'm a star... Is like hardened uh hoodie defender yeah me too um, i i i think it it's way cooler than the, bandana, than the bandana i think it fits his more chill personality like the bandana just doesn't yeah. say anything about his character to me <laughs> this is a fun little moment this like looney tunes yeah. ass thing I tell you, here come the thugs again. This game also still looks so good. Yeah. Like, it's aged very well. And a lot of the tech is, like, so impressive for the time. The the In this level specifically, and we kind of just saw it a second ago, um, but the reflections, like, that's not real reflection technology, because it just wasn't possible at the time. Yeah. So what's, what's happening is that the entire room and Rayman are being mirrored, um, upside, like, upside down through a transparent <laughs> part of geometry. Which is insane, by the way, that games used to just do that because they wanted reflective floors, but it's the only way they could do it. Um, but like this, this, Goomba. Th hmm? oh, sorry, Goomba Baldasher has a funny theory that Raymond is Jesus because <laughs> he walked on water. Yeah, you could always walk on that. Wow, that's surprising. Um, 
but like this this game this was back when 3d platformers were still getting tri triple a plat like um treatment the, o the only platformers I can think of nowadays that get AAA stuff are Ac the Activision ones, Crash and Spyro. And yeah. I can't even believe that happened twice in Crash's um, uh, instance. Yeah. Crash it's wild how, 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 like, that... It's barely even a genre anymore. Yep. For the platformers. It's mostly just indies nowadays. And indies are like carrying this shit too. Like some some indie games are some of the best 3D platforms I've ever played in my life. Yeah. I really want to play that Corn Kids game. That 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 looks so good. And Pseudo Regalia. I never heard about either of those. You should look at Corn Kids. I think you'd love the visual style of that game at least. Look well, at like look it up, up on Steam like right now. It's it looks fucking awesome. Corn Kids. I look it up on Google and it's just some kid with corn. Uh, kids is spelled with a Z. Oh. Corn Kids 64, specifically, is the name. Corn Kids. This is so cool being able to arc your shots. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Right? Looks. Yeah. <laughs> it looks even better in motion. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that looks cool. The sock enemies. Oh shit, I've been playing Pseudo Regalia, it's really fun. I'm a bit lost in it right now though. Yeah, Pseudo Regalia is like a, a Metroidvania 3D platformer, and that just is really cool to me conceptually. Um, but I've heard like it has great movement um, abilities, like almost akin to Mario 64. It's hoodlums! Hoodlums! I'm Andre, I'm blowing like hoodlums! Something I've always found really funny about this game ever since I first play it, and it's very noticeable, is that uh, uh, the game was clearly dubbed in French first, so some of these scenes are just not synced properly. <laughs> yeah, true. There's this one scene and, later and, with- and, and, it's, and it's mixed really badly. Yes, true. There's one scene later with um, a teensy uh, where he's out of the shot, like he's gone, he's left already, and is still talking. <laughs> what? Uh, and I think he's voiced by the same guy that voices Ed and Ed and Eddie too, which is really weird. That that also kind of adds charm to it. Give me yeah. a sec. I'll be right back. Hurry up. Um, I guess while while he's doing that, um, this gives me a chance to talk about this game's like relationship with um power ups and stuff, which. I've always found fascinating to bring, like, power-ups like this into Rayman. Uh, I don't mind them. I do kind of dislike how some of them are just abilities Rayman already had, like the, um, the hook ability that I've forgotten the name of. I had to ask Rai what this uh, was while he was streaming, just to, be, like, remember what it was called. And I don't even remember. Um. There's a reason why Rayman used gibberish instead of voice acting. True, but I prefer the voice acting, so I can I can live with it being a little messed up if it if it leads to like really good dialogue like this. And I like the voice acting in um Revolution too. The 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 um there we go. Uh, the um, PS2 version of Rayman 2. That's still my favorite version of that game. I have returned and I've brought with me some food. Oh, nice. I was just talking about Rayman 2 Revolution specifically. And how it's like I love that one. It's my favorite part. It's my favorite version of the game. Although the Dreamcast version is also very good. Um, I don't like why I, I don't get why Mark doesn't like that version. I, I don't understand. I I can get like some of the little things, like some of the visual changes and the um that terrible Space Invaders part. But I don't I don't I don't understand his dislike of the hub. I really like the hub. It yeah. adds a lot of life to the to that game for me. It makes it feel like an actual world that you're defending, you know? Yeah, it's why I prefer the, um, the, the map in, um, in Origins over the paintings in Legends, because, uh, the map in Origins, like, still feels like a place. Yeah. Although Origins has its own problems when it comes to, like, actually having a story. <laughs> um. I just finished, I just finished or Origins again recently. Um. Oh. I like that game, and I, and I, and I um, I did the the live and dead world as well. Oh yeah, that love that level so much. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Zelda needs you. This game is so much more meta than the other games, it's weird. Like, this is... It's crazy how good this fucking game still looks! Nearly, tw like, over 20 years at this point now. It looks bad. True. Actually, this is garbage. I can see the pixels. You can literally see the frames. <laughs> I love how Rayman feels in this game over too as well. Like he's he's got oh, like, yeah. he's got this perfect weight to him. Uh, and I love that that midair uh, spin he does when you're like at the arc of your jump. I I don't remember if he does that in two or not. To be fair, um, it's been a while since I played that game, but I just really like that that here. It's been a while since I played any Rayman game, honestly. Um, yeah, hoodlums. Yeah. Last one I played was yeah, well, Origins recently, but before that, I don't remember when I played a Rayman game. Stupid man. Lockjaw. Oh yeah, that was the name of that power up. I was there's a Rayman. Earlier. There's a reason why Rayman Two used gibberish instead of voice acting. Oh yeah, then they that was a change from. Revolution as well, right? That and the PS1 version. Voice acting. Yeah. I, I I talked about I talked about that comment a little bit already. What's your take on that? Um, I like both approaches. That's fair. There's not there's not a lot of dialogue in that game anyway, so. It's, yeah, that's true. Uh, I I'm not bothered by it either because it's not like Banjo Kazooie where it's fucking obnoxious. Um. Yeah. But I I do I I think I prefer the voice acting because I I like I like hearing these characters talk. Um, mm -hmm. oh yeah, this weird wall jumping thing. I, I forget. Fucking Spider-Man 2 audition. I wonder when this game came out! <laughs> there goes my hero. Or maybe he's talking about Spider-Man PS4. It's still relevant. It's still relevant. Yeah, he's talking about, um... It'll be relevant at any given time, because there's always fucking Spider-Man shit in the making. True. There's always gonna be a Spider-Man 2 at some point. Yeah. I also like the the pig Latin in the origins. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's also a fun way to go about it. Mm -hmm. Um. God, I love how origins look so much. It's unfortunately showing its age a little bit now, uh, with its low its lower quality textures, like PS3 era, because. They're not mm -hmm. like they're not like vector drawings. Obviously, I don't even think a game could run something with like vector image, right? <laughs> no, no. Um, but um, I still prefer that visual style over Legends because Legends looks gorgeous. I, I want to make that clear. But I, I think, I think having the the characters be uh, lined and like have more flat colors. Uh, against painterly backgrounds just makes more sense from a game design standpoint, not even just a visual yeah. design standpoint. And also make me, make me, makes it look more like an actual cartoon, you know? Yeah. Which I, I guess with Rayman like Legends, it fits the painterly theme that the whole, the painting theme that the whole game is going for, right? Yeah. Um, but I don't like that theme, so. I will say, Origins and Legends generic ass name true origins doesn't even make sense anymore no um oh i love this part of the game uh speaking of spider-man oh god there's a lot of shit in here with how much you shit on banjo and tui i'd like to see you play it in a morbid sadistic schadenfreude kind of way i mean i wouldn't hate it they're fine games i just find them boring you're not going to get much of like a, a an interesting reaction out of me with that you know what would get a reaction out of you? What? Streaming Bound Wonderworld. Oh my god, that's never gonna fucking happen. <laughs> I hate that fucking game so much. Uh, only thing I don't like about Rayman Revolution is that Rayman's animations can be a bit jank looking. Do you, do you want to save prompts every time you transition to a new section of the game? That's true. Asking to... It, it's not a big deal. I don't really mind when a game asks you to save at the end of every level, but it can be a little annoying. Um... Speaking of Spider-Man, did you see the leaked Insomniac roadmap roadmap of games? Yes, we both are well aware of that uh, that stuff. 
Kane, I think, has more info shit. on it than me. Um, but yeah, I, I know of it. And they're doing, like, a Venom game, they're doing a fucking Wolverine game, and obviously they're doing another Spider-Man game. The fucking Ratchet and Clank again, yeah. That's gonna be on, like, the PS fucking 20. And it'll still never finish the Lombax story. <laughs> No, don't, don't get to the Lombaxes in, in the next one. There's a secret in this place, and I don't remember where it is. Uh, I'm gonna look for it, though. I think it's up above me. Up above. Um. Yeah, man, that, that, that Insomniac stuff is just depressing. I'm not really that... Yeah. I'm not that big into Ratchet. Definitely not as much as Kane. Um, I actually kind of fucking hate some of the later games. Or at least I hate Tools of Destruction, which is fucking wildly goddamn boring. <laughs> um, how the fuck do I do this? Is it over here somewhere? I don't hate Tools of, the, Tools of Destruction as much as you do. I, But I, do, I will acknowledge that it's like the weakest one in the series. Or one of the weaker ones. Um, I, I'm actually, I actually v like maybe like maybe two of the Ratchet games I've played fully. Um, I like Ratchet 3. I think it's the best of the original yeah. trilogy. My favorite is probably Deadlock though, because it, it, it's the one where I feel like the formula is fully figured out and the yeah. gameplay is See, those, the most fun for me. Those two are my favorites, so I'm glad you like those at least. Yeah. I think it's to the left of the throne. Isn't it like on the upper area somewhere? There's like a hidden I think, room. I think you'd like Rift Apart as well, though that's it's a little too long in my opinion. I think I'd like the gameplay of both the PS4 and, uh, remake and Rift Apart more than yeah. any other game in the series. And sometimes that's more than enough for me. Yeah. Um, no, th they're really fun games, and they look fucking stunning. Isn't that, I swear to God, there's a way to get up there. Oh, here it is. I'm blind. I think it's to the left of the throne, Lance Charleston says. I just fucking read that! Oh, oh son of a sorry. bitch. You suck. I'm autistic. What, what relevance does that have here? You can't make fun of me. I can absolutely make fun of you. Especially because I am also that thing. Ooh. I went the wrong way. Ooh, my shadow is clipping through the floor. Oh yeah, the duck duck has a some duck is depressed. I think anytime we bring up the Insomniac stuff. Yeah. And he's well, not even an Insomniac fan. <laughs> oh, there it is. I still gotta finish. I still gotta finish. Um, man, it's wild. It's wild how um, Sunset Overdrive is like their last new IP, or last original IP. Yep. And that was like a decade ago. Why is the camera shaking so disgustingly here? And they're never making a, a non-Marvel game again. Fuck that Ratchet game, it's cancelled. It's over. It would be so depressing, but I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if that, that Ratchet game gets put on the back burner. If, like, just because Sony told them to not do that and instead focus on Marvel entirely. That series is just forever doomed. It's just like so so many things that get in the way. To be fair, it is kind of Insomniac's own fault for not taking so long to finish this fucking storyline. Yeah. You know what happened with um with Tools of Destruction? What? They promised Sony that they were gonna add like a multiplayer mode to that. Mm. Um But <laughs> that never happened and Sony was kinda pissed at, oh, at shit. them. So to make it up to them, they were like, okay, um, we, we, we can do another thing. We can make Quest for Booty to um, to promote, like, your new PlayStation store, right? Because it was, like, an, an online-only kind oh. of thing. Um, so they were like, sure, make Quest for Booty. So then they worked on that. And because of, of that game, um, A Crack in Time got, like, wildly delayed. And because of that, like, a bunch of content had to be cut from that game. It's... <laughs> it's so wild. And then that whole thing snowballed into, um... Into them not finishing the Lombax story in time. Yep. And then the fucking PS4 reboot came around, and that also... Kind of threw a wrench 
no pun intended, into the whole thing. Nice. Um. Yeah, no. <laughs> The PS4 reboot also kind of just... We would have seen the Lombaxes by now if it hadn't been for the PS4. If it hadn't been for that fucking movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's not like they can follow that up upon in the movie itself, too. Because, like, nobody... No. Like, for new audiences, they have no fucking idea. I think making <laughs> I think making the movie um, a retelling of the original game was a misstep. I feel like in a completely original story would have done a lot better. Uh, that yeah. way, that way, they could have made a game with a new story too, instead of just remaking the original game. I feel like they shouldn't have made a movie and just made a game. True. <laughs> That's my opinion on the matter. I. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't get what, what, what we would get out of a movie. Something I want to say about those boogie board sections is I wonder how many people know that the game auto jumps for you if you just let Rayman get to the end of one of those platforms. Oh really? Because I found I, I found that I found on my first playthrough that trying to jump myself for that stuff was like super finicky and would never work, but letting the game just jump for you uh, would always let me land better. Hmm. I never knew. Who turned off the nice music? I'm glad I can play older good games I haven't played yet until we get cool non-Marvel ass movie games coming out again. Honestly, sad to see how Naughty Dog and Insomniac have both succumbed to the enshittening of the a AAA industry. At least Insomniac is making new games! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Naughty Dog hasn't made a new game since... Since yeah. Last of Us 2? And I mean, the Insomniac games, those Spider-Man games are still good, but it just sucks that it can only be Spider-Man games now. Oh my god, please target the fucking enemy game! What are you targeting?! Like, Insomniac is still a really fucking good studio. Yeah. Fuck Neil Druckmann. Yeah. He made Last of Us woke. True. That's why that game sucks. <laughs> that game doesn't suck. Either. Oh my god. I'm not looking forward to that discourse coming back when, uh, fucking this season 2 comes out for the show. Oh, dude. Do you think they're even going to follow it in fear of that happening again? I, I think they are going to follow it. I think they said something about that already. But they're they're going to split up the second game into two seasons. Oh. I guess it is long, a pretty long game, right? It is a pretty long game. Um, I want that gem. But also, how the fuck are you going to adapt that game? I... <laughs> I don't- I don't hate Last of Us 2, but there's just a lot of things keeping that game back. It's- it's paced really fucking awkwardly. And, um... While I don't mind... I don't mind certain story decisions that much, but it's just like in execution I have problem with them. Uh, you have a eh. singular problem with them. I have singular problem with them, yes. <laughs> no, I don't know. I can't really talk about it without going into spoilers, really, but... That's fair. I can't yeah. wait to see... You know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... Can I say that? I don't think we can say it Does anyone care if I, if, I, if I spoil Last of Us 2? I mean... I... I'm torn because I think it's a really funny thing that people got upset about. <laughs> but on the other hand, like, it is a huge spoiler for anybody who does, who's never played the game, or wants to play the yeah, game. Because we, we already spo spoiled it for Nebula. That- or, no! Or no, we didn't! He, he spoiled, spoiled it for himself. He, yeah, that's true. We spoiler tagged it and everything, he knew what we were talking about, it's not my fucking fault that he- he- he, he still decided to unspoiler the tags. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I did find it like really wild that he didn't know about that because I I hadn't played the game yet and I knew about that. Yeah, you literally couldn't avoid that shit when that was new. Yeah, like everyone was talking about that because it it, it leaked. I didn't give a fuck about Last of Us at the time, and I still barely do. Um, and even even then I was like getting bombarded with spoilers for 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 two. Because it was the big controversial game of the time, even though, like, 
in comparison to a lot of other things that came out around the same time and after, it's not even close to being that big of a deal. Yeah. It it was also just just a bunch of fucking right wing yeah. bullshit. Where it's just like you you're gonna pretend to care about Joel this much. You're just upset that he got cut killed by a woman. Well, okay, by there a it is. Woman. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> sorry, folks. <laughs> um, I don't care. And I'm sure there are plenty of like legitimate things to criticize the game for, but like, I, as far as I'm aware, the game is fully functional. It's polished. It works the way it's it was it was supposed to at launch. Yeah. Um, the story is okay. F like most fans of the game are like, yeah, it's not as good as the first game's story, but it's still pretty good. So. It it, it 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 kind of failed in a lot of aspects that um that they were trying to do like nice um they try and get you to care about Abby um but first of all they only like ow you only play as her for like half the game um and also. She kind of just killed one of the characters you already liked, so there's already... Yeah, that's already an uphill battle right there. Yeah, th that's already an uphill battle to, to get me to like this person. And it's like, I I see what you're trying to do. It's like, yeah, there's two sides to every story, but it's, it's still like, yeah, I don't fucking know. She still kind of seems like a piece of shit to me. But also, she's buff, so that means she's a man. This is true. Yeah, I... <laughs> I saw things about that, but like they couldn't possibly conceive that a woman, that like a cis woman would be buff. We talked about this on the podcast, I think a while ago, yeah. but it's like, it still baffles me that like, conservatives are so fucking stupid, they can't imagine a cis woman being buff. Yeah, so, oh, she must be trans, they put a trans character in the game. And she killed our beloved man. <laughs> I just... Our beloved man that we are pretending to care about now. I never played the original, but oh shit, I forgot about this. Yeah, they, they never, they never played the original because when the show came out, and there was this, this episode about Bill being gay, they were like, ah, look at what they did to Bill. Just, Bill was gay in the game. <laughs> yeah, they, they never care. It's always just for the face. It's, <laughs> it's always just for the face of it for other conservatives who also don't actually care. They just want to yeah. pretend they care. Conservatives like, are how... the biggest snowflakes on the planet. They need something to be upset by. Yeah. But like, how how the fuck are you going to be upset about Last of Us? Because Last of Us, I don't know. It's been woke from the very fucking start. Well, woke. I, I, I hate that word. I hate that word. <laughs> Worst part is, it actually had like a really good meaning back when it was new. But it, and it was, it's, it, it was a, um, it's A-A-V-E. Like it's that kind of, that kind of terminology. But it got co-opted by fucking stupid white, like, conservatives. Yeah. And got turned into a, a shell of what it actually meant. When you ask them what they mean by it, they they never have a clear answer. Well, they have a clear answer. They just, they just can't say it out loud. Yeah, true. <laughs> no Ghostbusters is woke because there's a lesbian ghost in it. Woke is just any social progress whatsoever. I think my my biggest problem with it too is that whenever you criticize something that like is so he heavily controversial for those reasons, it makes you look like you're one of those fucking people. Like mm -hmm. like remember the shit with Ghostbusters 2016? Like those guys were such a loud group of people that it became impossible yeah. to actually criticize that movie for its genuine real faults. That movie is garbage, by the way. Uh, yeah, without looking like one of those people. Whenever I would bring the game up, I I, I found myself having to like. Add a, a, an additive statement, which was like, it's not because of the women. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with um, Last Jedi and shit. Yeah. I actually hate that Ghostbusters movie because of the new cast, but not because they're women, but because they are actually all funny people, but they have nothing... F they, they are given no funny dialogue in the entire fucking movie. <laughs> have you seen it? I haven't seen that one. 2016? Yet. Or the... Yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen 2016 more times than I really would like to. <laughs> I was originally going to try and make a re-edit of it to, like, make it a little better, but I just... I, I, I can't be asked to spend that kind of time on a movie I don't even like. Um, and think can be made only, like, marginally better by heavily yeah. editing it. 
Like, how much can you polish a turd, you know? Yeah. Um... But it's, it's... Honestly, I'd rather watch that than these new ones, which I haven't seen. Because, like... I can't, I can't stand the idea of a Ghostbusters that's whimsical. Or, like... I, it's it's very Jurassic World-y, where they, where they go, like, Oh, look at this! Yeah. Look at their car! Oh, remember the car and how it made you feel like that? It, it was just a fucking stupid little comedy. What the fuck are you It gonna... was a stupid comedy, but... It's, it's, a, it's a really well-written stupid comedy about, like... Yeah. A bunch of schlubby exterminators. Yeah. There was no whimsy in the original story at all. Yeah. Um, Stupid comedy is maybe a bit too reductive, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, yeah, it's I know what you like, mean, of course. Yeah. Um. Like, eh. But I, 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 at least, at least Ghostbusters 2016 is still just trying to be a dumbass comedy. Like, cool. At least you know what you are. You're still yeah you're just still a shitty like contender for the original, but uh hey, I've kind of forgotten yeah. how I'm supposed to. Jeez. Didn't they also like CG in one of the old yeah, actors Scott. that died? Yeah, Harold Ramis. Uh -huh. I I've heard people be like, oh no, it's cool that they did that. It's th it's like respectful, and it's like you can't say that. He's dead. The only one who yeah. could say if that's if, if who would want that is currently not alive to consent to doing that. Yeah. It, mm. it 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 feels so fucking gross. Yeah, and it's also just for a multi-billion dollar movie, which is also kind of like. Mm. It's like is it really that respectful if you're making so much cash on it? Yeah. It's I I don't. Hmm. At least Jurassic, Jurassic World is great. Jurassic World is okay. I, I've said this to you before and you got like you got kind of upset at me, but I actually enjoyed watching Jurassic World a bit more than the original. Yeah, no, that's insane. Sorry. I don't think it's a better movie, just to clear this up. But I didn't really vibe with the original Jurassic Park that much. I just, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I already knew so much about it that it just didn't really connect to me or some other reason that I can't really put my my uh, finger on. But like with Jurassic World, it was, it was fun. It was fun little schlock um, that definitely was not uh, as well made as the original movie or uh, or as interesting um, or, ha or as good written. Uh, Good written. Good written. I'm a writer. <laughs> um, how the hell am I supposed to get over here fast enough? Am I even remembering this right? Whatever. Um, I guess I could just walk over here. Well, <laughs> um, I've seen the third, the third Jurassic World, and they they bring back the cast from the original Jurassic Park. And awesome. They do the same thing as they do with the Ghostbusters in there. It's just like God, fucking damn it. Any anytime really? I see the cast of one of those like original movies come back, I I just look at them and I'm like, man, you guys really need a paycheck, huh? Yeah, and they all look so fucking bored. They always do. <laughs> same with like uh, Harrison Ford. Same with Harrison Ford in, in the new Star Wars movies. He's just like, <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> I don't get the impression that he likes Star Wars that much from the beginning, but. <laughs> At least he was trying in those old movies. He was just like, oh, and yet he was so excited for this new Indiana Jones movie. And um, yeah, yeah, that, that's what kind of got me. It's it just like, oh, okay, but Harrison Ford's excited for it, so it must be good. And then I went to see it. I was like, Mr. Ford, <laughs> I don't. What the fuck, <laughs> Mr. Ford? <laughs> um, you lied to me. You, you. Lied to me. I never bothered to watch anything past the original Jurassic World because the the other two after it looked like complete garbage. Mr. Ford, girly. I love this game series music so fucking much. Machine Games Bethesda made the right call getting Troy Baker to play Indiana Jones in the new game. Yeah. Can Troy Baker do a good Harrison Ford? Yeah, yeah, I um, I saw the trailer and he did a pretty good impression. Oh, okay. Um, um, I'm a little wary, honestly. I don't even like 
Machine Games games that much. I, I'm, I, I've made it apparent before that I don't really like the Wolfenstein series at all, including the new ones. Uh, but especially the new Colossus is terribly written, although I think it's the most fun I've had with the modern Wolfenstein games. And Youngblood is genuine garbage. Um, <laughs> so I kind of don't have any faith that that Indiana Jones game is going to be any good. I've only played the New Order and I liked it fine. The game, the, the New Order's gameplay just doesn't click with me at all. Like, I, I love shooters, but it, I'm gonna be out. It, the people are gonna fucking hate me for this, but it feels too much like a modern shooter for me, like a like mm. COD. <laughs> um, no. Like I don't, I, I, I don't I, I care for, that. I don't care for the health regen stuff. I don't care for having to go behind cover every fucking five seconds. Um, I, I, I really. I really don't like the the addition of stealth because um not because of those not because of the fact that I, I it feels too much like a modern shooter but because it feels completely half-assed. Um I don't I don't know I don't even know why stealth is in any of the games. It is it is borderline unnecessary uh for playing through. And if you do actually decide to do like a stealth run, you're going to fucking lose so quickly. Yeah. I, I'm definitely go gonna wait for reviews for that Indiana, Indiana Jones game, um, and then second of all, I still gotta wait to see whether my PC will be able to run it because it's not releasing on PlayStation. So it'll probably release on PlayStation eventually. Eventually, yeah. But mm. um, let's see. We got Rai Neb. Welcome to the chat. Uh, which version of this? PS2 version. I'm playing on my PS2. And are you winning, Hane? No. 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 Never. He's streaming with me, he's not winning. <laughs> Is that a dig it yourself? Yeah. Fair little, enough. Little self deprecating humor for you millennials. Oh man. None of us no one here is a millennial. No one. No true, I'm a Gen Z -er. I don't think anybody who no like we're friends with would be a millennial. I think would Mark be a millennial millennial technically? Uh I think we've had this conversation before. I think he's also Gen Z. Hmm. And everyone Weird. we know is younger than Mark, I'm pretty sure. Because I associate Gen Z with, like, 17-year-olds, you know? You shouldn't. Gen Z started in 1997. True. My sister's in Gen Z, and she's, like, almost 30. That's fucked up, by the way. That's fucked up! Yeah. Yeah, now it's, like, Gen Alpha. Are the kids in, like... I don't even think they're teenagers yet, most of Gen Alpha. Maybe yeah, like remember when, maybe like young teenagers. I don't know. I remember when conservatives would make fun of millennials. That was or weird. Old people in general would make fun of millennials, but now now it's us. Now we're the butt of the joke. We are the butt of the joke, but we're also uh, a lot angrier than millennials. <laughs> so we True. don't we don't at least from what I've gathered we don't take it as much. <laughs> Even more proof that the generation classification is broken. I mean, it's all marketing bullshit anyway. It was never- it's never- an, it's not an actual thing. Like... I- I- I don't know. If- if- If somebody, like, nearly ten years younger than- or older than me could be classified as the same generation than me, that just doesn't seem right. Yeah, no. Like, I have very little in common with the average 30-year-old. I say 10 years older than me, I think the cutoff point would be like 3 years older than me? I don't know. What the hell? Oh, there he is. Ah, ye fucking get! You know what I don't like? What? How all... I... I'm gonna sound like a bit of a boomer here. <laughs> I don't like them, th those Gen Z haircuts with like the curly hair. Oh my god, dude. I hate it. I fucking I hate, hate the like broccoli hair so much. Yeah, the broccoli hair. It looks like garbage. 
<laughs> and it's like like every fucking seventeen year old boy looks like that, and then with the airpod with the airpods, it's like it's a stereotype, sure, but it's like a lot of them adhere to that stereotype. Ahoy, friendos! Oh, hey, is this the GameCube version? No, this is the PS2 version. Um, welcome to the stream, Mark. Shut the fuck up! Shut up, you stupid frog! Oh, there's just um. I call those YouTuber haircut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are the like. Those are those. That it, that's the generation of YouTube I don't understand. Yeah, it it, it just I don't know. It, it just screams fuckboy to me, you know. <laughs> carrying the plum. That's one of my favorite songs in the game. They're carrying the plum. <laughs> You're old. I, we are both younger than you, Mark. They never use this mechanic that much in this game, at least. The plum, yeah. Um, it's used a little bit more in that one section, the big tower. That fucking part is mm -hmm. gorgeous, by the way. Um, but yeah, once once that uh, once that part happens, I don't think they ever use it again. Yeah. At the same time, I I don't want to be that guy who like grows old and makes fun of the older generation- of the younger generations, I mean. Yeah. I mean, we're not even making fun of the older generation, we're making fun of our own generation with the stupid yeah. haircut bullshit. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I'm just making fun of haircuts, okay? Yeah. <laughs> not, not everyone in, the, in, in, in that generation has that haircut, and thank god. I mean, I don't think less of you if you had that haircut, I just don't think it looks very good. I do think less of you, but that's okay. I knew that joke was gonna happen. It was- I set it up, I set it up, and you knocked it down! <laughs> um, yeah, no, but I, 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 I gen generally. This is a secret one. Oh, okay. There were people in school with me who had that haircut, and like they were all, they, they all turned out to be kind of like d douchey. <laughs> <laughs> so oh it's like I, I immediately, I immediately have like a, a negative reaction to that haircut when I see it. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, ye fucker! Why do I always become, like, some, some United Kingdom-ass accent whenever I get frustrated? <laughs> okay, I'm just being stupid now. Oh, I turned around. Whoopsie. There we go. I think less of you and we'll pound you to the street. When and where? Um. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I will say some of some of these uh, power ups feel very gimmicky, like like this one. It's fun, but it's like yeah, you can only use it in like very limited situations. Yeah, and I I, I don't know. I, were you there when I brought up how the uh, the hook one like is really stupid when it was something Rayman could already fucking do? Yeah. No, I, I don't I don't remember being there, but I agree. Uh, and the helicopter one that also just feels weird, <clears throat> like. Just make it wind gusts or something if you're gonna do that. Yeah. Why why make that a power up? It feels like some of these are power ups just for the sake of it. Yeah. I really would have liked to see what they had for the power ups in Rayman 4 though, because I, I I at least visually I love the like how they change Rayman's design. Can, can you fucking target the enemy in front of you? Thank you! Let me turn on the lights, because it's getting dark. There you go. Excellent. You missed the piggies. Ooh. I don't care. <coughs> boomer. Hood boomer. True. As Charleston says. I love I love how how both silly and clever the name of the uh, hoodlums is. Cause they're yeah. they're lumps with hoods on. <laughs> so good. What the fuck? I never noticed that. A little secret there. So something I never understood about this game is why they got rid of yellow lums in favor of um the uh these gems. Yeah. Like it's weird if you think about it, but uh, until Origins and Legends, like there was no consistent uh pickup in these games, which I mean, is kind of neat. I guess the the implication is that all the lums were turned into were turned into hoodlums, right? Yeah. But they're still red lums, which no, well, no, because the 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 black lums are just red lums. Like they don't they explicitly say that. Hmm. 
Yeah, but I, I, I guess it would make it a bit more convoluted to have to like distinguish between yellow lumps and, and red lumps, because it's like, I mean, they why do you only pick out the red lumps then? Yeah, I, I don't know. So I think I don't know. Maybe that maybe I, I think the gems were the right call. Fair enough. I mean, they didn't have to explain it anyway. They could have just done what Rayman Origins and Legends do, where they just fucking are there. Yeah. I, I like what, what Rayman Origins does with, like, um, the idle animations for the enemies where you can just see them torturing the little lumps. Yeah, and they uh, they changed that to teensies in, um, in Legends. Yeah. It's really funny. Oh, right, I have to use this stupid fucking rocket. Ah! Fuck you! Also, yellow lumps... Oh, Nebula said, uh... Yellow lumps just went back to the heart of the world. Do they explain that in the game? I don't remember them. I don't think that. I don't I don't think they explain that in game. It's crazy how uh, a big chunk of this game's plot is focused on Vor. The best chunk. You do you, man. <laughs> Vor, more like snore. Why John or is that Mine like a on... Rayman 2 thing? Yeah, it's reminiscent of when the story was about hoodlums robbing the central bank. But even then, it's kind of a weird choice to go with that instead of the yellow lums. What do you mean this game was originally going to be about them robbing a bank? <laughs> what? Who? Why was that even a thought? Who was like, yeah, you know what like Rayman game. needs? A bank robbery! What? Ray Rayman Payday 2. It's fucking... No, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm, I, I can't wrap my head around this concept. <laughs> what? Why? What's that target? It's, uh, there's a teensy behind that wall. I need to get it with oh, the rocket. Okay. <coughs> a sprocket. And health upgrade. There's no 100% confirmation. That scrap plot was found, was found from the prototype. Okay, I guess. Who, who, I don't... who on the Rayman 3 team was like, You know what Rayman needs? <laughs> it needs... It needs fucking bank robbery. Was it gonna be set in like a city? I'm... I can't fathom uh, the world of Rayman looking any different than this. Yeah. It looked like a movie studio, maybe. Oh, God. And there were rabbits there, and it wasn't about Raymond at all. There were just Raymond Easter eggs. Oh, hey, nobody else nobody else in the chat disagrees with us, so we can get away with this. That DLC is fucking stupid! <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I, I genuinely would have bought it if it was, like, actually set in a Rayman world. Instead, they decided... Rayman is in it, and there are some background references to Rayman, and that's it. Yeah, and Rayman also doesn't get to meet Mario. Yeah. I mean, that was never gonna happen anyway. I think I... And I... It's cool that the Phantom comes back. He's like one of the best parts of the original game. But how much cooler would it have been if it was a Rayman villain? Like Mr. Dark, or fucking, uh... Or, uh, Razorbeard, or even Andre. I think I like Ra Razorbeard most, like design Raz wise. Yeah, Razorbeard's my favorite villain in the series, easily. I love his, like, his personality. I love his design. Yeah. Um... Andre's probably my second favorite. Mr. Dark is my least favorite. I just don't think he's in- Uh, you know what? No. Elise is my least favorite, because he's fucking stupid as hell. Just an who, evil- Who is he? He's the evil teensy from Origins of Legends. Oh, yeah. I thought I thought he was Mr. Dark. He was originally supposed to be Mr. Dark, I think. Like in the um, oh. the old version of the game. Uh, which, by the way, also a stupid idea, making Mr. Dark just a teensy. Come on. Yeah, that, that kind of robs him of his mystique. I love that design. It, it doesn't fit Origins and Legends art style. 
but I absolutely love that design of him from the Rayman Mini, I think it was yeah. from. Fuck you. There we go. Ooh, that lighting is really nice right there. Ye fucker! There we go. He wasn't. Even in the original scrap plot, it was supposed to be a Mr. Dark fanboy. Oh, okay, that's that's <coughs> better, I guess. There's still hints of that in in Origins, like, near the very end of the game, where, like, Elise has, um, he's got fucking, um, like, pictures. He's got, fucking... he's got pictures of himself with Mr. Dark or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of decisions with that game that I don't, I don't know. I love Origins. It's probably still my favorite game in the series, but I don't know. There's just some, why is it showing me this cutscene again? In Did, case you miss it. But I got this, didn't I have this introductory cutscene already? Uh -oh. Yeah, I think you did. All right, whatever. What if you get it each time now? Oh my god, that would be obnoxious. Right, you gotta charge it. El who is Elise? This is the, the Taintsy from um, Rayman Origins. Yeah, what's his, his full name is Elise Mansay, which is like salesman backwards or something. Oh, that's, that's or no, stupid. It's, it's Pig Latin for salesman or something. Uh, or whatever. I don't even know what that means. Like, why? Why is his name Salesman backwards? Like, what? What does I that have to do with his know. fucking character? The little character he even has. And then they made him the villain five times over in Legends. I mean, my guess is just like it started as one idea, and then the game got got like um. I don't know. They just iterated ideas upon ideas upon ideas, and that was just one of the leftovers. I think. Why, why were there five of him in Legends? Who wanted that? <laughs> and you shoot them into the moon and they do a little funny remix. I mean, that part is fun. Yeah. I really like the boss fights in Legends. I, remember, I like Legends. I remember when I was younger, the final boss, the, that like big um, like cloud thing, um, gave me some trouble. Hmm. Something to this day that I, I've talked about it with friends, but something that really fucking bothers me. Um, you crack me up, little buddy. Something that really fucking upsets me about uh, Legends levels is the uh, the big special level that like it takes the place of Land of the Living Dead from Origins, uh, yeah. Granny World Tour. Both versions mm -hmm. of it are fucking so goddamn easy. <laughs> yeah, Legends in general is way easier than Origins. To a fault, I would argue. Because Origins had like the, the the treasure chest levels that were kind of challenging, and that final ch the final level was really uh, was quite hard. Yeah. Oh, chill issue intro coming up. Oh yeah, this is the hood stomper, right? That's what it's called. Yeah. The you music go. levels were really cool. Like. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Welcome back to chill issue, everybody. Yeah. Uh, Mark's Mark not here this time. Today, cause he's a bitch. Yeah, cause he's a bitch. There we go. Ow. 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 Pancaked. So, what is it? You just walk over these? Right, okay. Boop. I never really liked this boss. It's almost been half a year since we last posted a chill issue. Well, we're all busy, so... Yeah, true. We got- we got one. <laughs> we got one in the chamber, you know? We do. It's not a traditional episode, though. It's not, but it's a fun one. Please don't run out this time. There we go. Hain, what if this was your only mode of transportation? What would you do then? Well, I don't think anybody would ever get in my fucking way. 
that's true. And, and this music also plays while he walked by. It's a good track, I don't mind. This would be <laughs> slower than walking, <laughs> I feel. I gotta wait for him to like get away from that central platform thing. Cause he'll go for it and then I'm fucking stomped on. <coughs> But that's fine, I took the place of Chill Issue and made my own podcast that's better and funnier and, uh, sexier. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Hane Hainington. Ye fucker! Uh. Oh my god, please. 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 Holy- Let me look at the chat, because there's quite a lot going on there. Yeah. Come here, you, you know what? As time goes on, I wonder what was going through Michelle and Cell, uh, on Cell's head when making the creative decisions for the, some of those games. Uh, he didn't work on this game. He only gave a... Uh, he only did Rayman's design, right? Yeah. He was working on that King Kong game, right? E either that or Beyond Good and Evil. Yeah. No, well, I I remember distinctly. Uh, it, it was that King Kong game. No, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Uh, <laughs> I can't Which, um, from what I hear, right. that game is really fucking good. That King Kong, like, first-person shooter. Yeah, like, too good for both its era and for a licensed game. Yeah. I want to play that, I want to try that. Fucking finally, there we go. All right, one more time. Lance was talking about Origins and Legends and Legends ah, with yeah. that comment. Oh, okay. That makes more uh, sense. Like no. What he had in two was perfect. Three built on it, and then he resets the lore again with Origins. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why this this series is so afraid to have consistent lore. Yeah, or consistent art styles. Or consistent anything. Yeah. Because the gameplay changes up again with each, with each fucking iteration. Except for the Origins and Legends era where they all play uh, the fucking same, including the mobile games. No, it's not true in, in Legends. Ah, for can, fuck's sake! In Legends, you can pull turnips out of the ground. Right. My bad. And also the yeah. control is a little different in, in Legends. But some people, some people try to sell the like control differences in Legends as like a really major change, and like maybe for speedrunners, but like, no normal person is gonna fucking notice this at all. Yeah. Ooh, You're not this fucking... time. Not this fucking time. Ooh, I got you fucking dead to rights, die. Ooh. I like how they how they stretch these meshes. Yeah, it's meshes. It's good. It's fun. And now I get to play with this thing. That part's also cool. I also like how you can see some unused uh, enemy designs on those wanted posters. Yeah, and in that uh, secret area that's like near the yeah. end of the game. And on some of the loading screens, right? You can also see those. Uh, yeah. Come on. Why is there an announcer here? Yes, yeah, so, some of this is weird in French. <laughs> it's explicitly because it's French. Yeah. Serial shooter. <laughs> um, Damn. Hmm. I don't think that would fly anymore. Can I just leave? So some of those onomatopoeias look all, are also just wild. Where it's like, sh yeah, I don't, I don't know what the fuck some of them are. There's, there's one that's just like corn, right? Like, but with a K. What is that supposed to mean? Genie. Is that a French thing? Corn. Because I know, I know a lot of um, I know a lot of cultures have like different onomatopoeia for their languages, but like. Yeah. I can't imagine what sound that's even supposed to be for. 
down. Yeah. They look like fried eggs when you flat fuck them. They do. Lions Charleston. Come on. The fucking. This is so janky. No need for the nymphs in Legends. Sad hours. Oh, yeah, they 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 remove the best part of the game for Legends. Voodoo Mama's the best one. Yeah. No, I I, I still have a soft spot for Betila. I did it. Serendipity, baby. This game has a Great. weird, a lot of weird, like gimmicky shit like that sometimes. Like the fucking yeah. um, the underwater segment later in the game. But that's also kind of what I like. Like it, ke it keeps the gameplay somewhat fresh. That's yeah, that's fair. I thought it was a sound for the band Corn. Yeah, they want you to listen to Corn music albums every time that 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 uh, onomatopoeia comes up. Welcome oh, to the stream, Julie Mark. This is my friend Tom. Mama Hite, my beloved. She's not even in the game. She's not canon, bro. She'll never be canon. Your waifu will never be real. Who's not canon? Who's Mama Hite? Mama Hite was what um that big monster at the end of Land of the Living Dead was originally gonna turn into before they changed it to oh. Voodoo Mama. She just looked like a, a one of the red glow bo glow boxes. Oh. Let me look that up. I, I never. <laughs> Mama Hite. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Origins is such a nice looking game. All of One these games are pretty nice looking in their own right. I love. True. I don't love Rayman's character design in one, honestly. <laughs> Um, and I, I think the game overall is, like, it feels like it's trying too hard to be cute, even though I know that's not what they were going for. Um, but I think that the background work is still very impressive, uh, and I do like some of the enemy designs, especially the hunters, which are a classic. Um. Those pirates were fucking wildly racist. Yeah, they were! Goddamn! <laughs> yeah, they were. We're not talking about the robo-pirates, by the way. In Rayman 1, uh, in this one boss fight, it's, um... I forget her name. She's like a opera singer or whatever. I think that's the right boss. Uh, there are yeah. the, these pirate uh, sub bosses or whatever that are part of that fight, and one of them is very, very racist. And his original design was gonna be uh, even more racist. I think I think we were talking about it with uh, Ride the other day as well. But he he turned those pirate guys into uh, the racist guys. He turned them into robots. For that specific reason. Yeah, for in Redemption, yeah. Yeah, and, and apparently people really had a problem with that. I wonder why. Uh, speaking of racism... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not It's not um, super bad um, until we get to that one teensy later. Yeah. Like, this, is, this first teensy is just stereotypical German doctor, maybe sort of alluding to, like, Nazi German doctors, but whatever. Uh, the second one is kind of funny. He's like a chill dude. He's got that like he's got that cool surfer dude vibe going on, man. But then the last one, <laughs> the last one. We're not getting to him today. Maybe ever. I don't know if I'll stream more Rayman Three. The game is actually fairly short from what I remember, so we could probably do it in like two or three sessions. Um, yeah. But holy fuck, is that character really fucking racist? May da goof says medic TF2. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's him. Who's also just alluding to like Nazi German doctors, pretty much. Hello? He says in that game. <laughs> Ooh, money! He's a he also plays Emperor Nefarious in Ratchet Clank. What, just ha part. what the hell just happened? Oh yeah, Robert Atkins Downs. Yeah. He played someone else in a game I, uh, I'm i familiar with, too. He's in, and he he, he, do, hmm? he does a really good job in Rift Apart, but the dialogue they give him is just not funny. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's Emperor Nefarious, right? Did you just say that? Yes. 
Yeah, I, I did. Nice. Awesome. I, I wonder... Uh, I think he would have done a, a pretty good job if, if they gave, gave him the role of, like, regular Nefarious, too. It happened again. It happened again. I love I love Nefarious' voices, voice so much, though. I'd hate yeah. to see his, his original voice actor not play that character anymore. Yeah, no, he he is so fucking good. He he is great in um, in everything. I think I think in Rift Apart, it's a little weaker for some reason. But that's also because his character in Rift Apart is a bit weaker. They 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 kind of made him uh, a bit of a bitch actually in that game. Oh, that's why. In I... order to make in order to make Emperor Nefarious Nefarious look more threatening. I think that's my biggest thing that bothers me whenever games like try to introduce a new villain that's worse than the last is when they try to make the uh, the original villain look incompetent. Because like, yeah. Nefarious is silly, but he was wildly competent still. Yeah, that's true. what made him really fun to watch as a villain. That's why I love hammy villains, but like so often, like whenever there's a sequel, a hammy villain will be turned into a stupid villain. And it's just like, Come yeah, on. That's, what they, that's what they did to him in Rift Apart. Kind of, it's just like, uh. like he he knew what he was doing. They, they they do the same thing to fucking Jack Sparrow, right? Jesus Christ! Well, well, like in the first movie, <gasps> he's, he really fucking knows what he's doing. Oh. That one part where he's like, "Oh, you will always remember this day. It's the day you almost caught Jack Sparrow." Like that's a fucking great badass fucking scene. And then in, in, in the newest movie, he just stumbles his way through everything. He's so flanderized. They kind of do that with Cortex, too, um, in the newer Crash stuff. But part of me is okay with that, because it's kind of like part of his arc, is that he kind of just hates being a villain now. Yeah. But like in the original Crash and Crash 2, he was way more threatening. But once, once Uka Uka came around, he started becoming more like that type of villain. Uka Uka is free. But also, Lex Lang is personally still my favorite voice for Cortex, so and he pulls off that version of Cortex really well, so I can live with it. Yeah. I wish I was Cortex. Do you? Does anyone Alas. really want to be Cortex? I think Cortex wants to be Cortex. Something that's weird about these songs in these Funky Board segments <coughs> is that they're technically licensed songs, I think, which means I might get in trouble for playing these. Yapal Polly said, Yapal. I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. I, Yapal Polly? Yapal Polly says he also has to babysit Nina. Nina was the best inclusion to the series, and they misused her so fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. Twin Sanity is a genuinely really fun game that's also probably hard to call a good game. <laughs> it's, uh. It's it, it 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 it's got that um Sonic Adventure swag, you know. Yeah, Kane finally understands why people enjoy Sonic Adventure. <laughs> yeah, because I because I played because I played Crash Twin Sanity and I was like, this sucks. I like it though. Although I would say Sonic Adventure, I I genuinely think is a good game that just has like some real jank in it. Twin Sanity is really, if it was functional, it probably wouldn't be that interesting gameplay wise. Um, in, especially in comparison to the older Crash games. So, hey, here's a fucking pointless power-up. The fucking whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love Twin Sanity almost in part due to how fucking weird it is. Yeah. Did I fuck it's myself? It's real quirky, and I, I, I don't know. Oh, no. I, I, I just love, I love the soundtrack, like all the acapella shit, that's... Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm kind of bummed that they never used that again. It fit really well. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of soundtrack, by the way, this is one of my favorite tracks from the game. Uh, <coughs> the like this bug, this uh, swamp track or Pagoniax or whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, this part used to fucking. It used to freak me the fuck out as a kid. Like <laughs> when the witch starts chasing you, that like I was so tense. <laughs> See, I had only played. I started. I, I played Rayman 2 and Rayman 3 when I was an adult, a couple. Uh, like a good couple years ago at this point now. 
So I, I, I don't have any of like the nostalgia a lot of people have, which I think goes to show just how much I think these are good games still. Yeah. Because like... <laughs> fucking Begoniax's voice is so fucking weird. Ah, crap. There we go. Twin Sanity is an amazingly quirky game hidden under a game that kills you when you touch anything. True! Including Crash's problem. own sister! <laughs> Fish? 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 There we go. Wrath of Cortex didn't do as well as we wanted. <laughs> you do a really good Lex Lang Cortex. No. Okay, fuck you then. Don't take the compliment, you dumb bitch. Crash Bandicoot. Ah, uh, my fucking head is itching at like the worst time! Itchy. Anything in chat? Ah, don't touch me! Don't touch me! Uh... Elijah says, I want Crash 5. Please, please, I want Crash 5. It'll be so good, but I'd take anything at this point. Crash 4 DLC, Crash to Insanity Remake, fucking anything, please. Anything Crash related. That that good, I'm down. Yeah. Um. Ow! Right, I forgot it's not hold. I, th I, 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 I fear that the, 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 the Crash renaissance is over. <laughs> Can we really call it a renaissance with... Well, I guess it had- you know what it was. Don't yeah, touch me! We had, like, the Insane Trilogy, we had fucking Crash Team Racing, which a lot of people oh, like. It's it. not my type of game, but... Uh, and then we had Crash 4. And I hear some people like, uh, fucking... Crash Team, whatever the fuck it is. Rumble. R Rumble. And there was that mobile game. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah. That game was okay. It actually plays better with a controller than it does with the touch screen. Mm. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ooh. Ow. Uh, we're getting I wanna... close to the... What's his name? The hunter guy. Yeah. As, as much as I love Nicholas Cole and his designs, I also want to see something crash that looks more like uh, he looked in the 90s. That's fair. I met Nicholas Cole, he's a really nice guy. Fuck sadly, you! I forgot I, I I forgot to bring my um my Crash 4 book, otherwise I would have asked him to sign it. <laughs> that art book is fucking gorgeous, dude. It is. That's one of my favorite art books that I own. I think my favorite though is probably the Splatoon 2 art book. Mwah. And I really like the Zim art book I own, too. Hmm. I think my favorite art book... Let me look at my shelf. Um... I love the Spider-Verse one. Oh, yeah. Is that for a cross or for Into? Um... Or do you have I kind of see both. Yeah, I, I have both, so they're kind of interchangeable for me. They're both really fucking good. Um... And yeah, I... I I love the Ratchet and Clank one. But that's just because I I, I love um... Dave Guerton. Yeah, did I, I I keep forgetting how to pronounce his name. I heard it once. You're the you're Dave the one. Dave Ger Guerton. I, I don't know. You're the one who like said Guerton on the pod like the first episode of the podcast. So that's just how I've been yeah. pronouncing it since. <laughs> but I also I also said I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded uh, right. So. <laughs> I think Guerton. I don't know, but uh, his art style is so fucking good, and it's influenced my art so much. And a weird thing that happened with me with that is that one of the pieces of like art he made once looked like my fucking soda, so I just made that my profile picture for a while. And oh yeah, true. It's still kind of crazy guy. to me just how close it looked. <laughs> yeah, that's space man. Yeah, that guy's art fucks. Ow. It does, and it doesn't. Or at least it it, it, it translates in uh, Rift Apart, but on the PS3 games it doesn't really. 
Um, I think most of the Ratchet games look pretty fucking stanky, if I'm being honest. I can't fight that guy yet. Really? Uh, especially the PS2 games. I don't... I like certain character designs. I don't... Mm, I don't... Hard, hard disagree on that one. I don't... I, love how the I PS2 don't games like look. how Ratchet looks, specifically. I in, really in, in, don't like that Ratchet, in Ratchet design. In, in Ratchet 1, I would agree with you, but when he has, like, more armor on, I think... I, it oh, no, I better. actually hate the fucking armor more. Oh, really? I, I hate when Ratchet doesn't have his, like, normal outfit on. I think the armor looks, like, too over-detailed for a cartoony mm. game. I I, I, actually... I much prefer uh, when Ratchet has his, like, classic duds on. Um, and I also... Um, I hate Ratchet's fucking head in those games so much. <laughs> I I loved it. I loved how he looked in um in Deadlock because they finally changed his fucking model. Mm. Um, but they his body looks like crap in that game because it's like it's like shaped like Crash and it's not fitting at all. No, and he also he just loses his tail. Like where the fuck does the tail go? Up his ass. I guess. Uh, w w one thing I really like about Rift Apart is like it adds all those armors from the oh, old games, and you can kind of you can kind of mix and match them, which is cool. So you get to wear yeah. like maybe the the um, you get to wear like the headpiece from the from Deadlocked alongside the Holoflux armor from um, Rift Apart. Cool. Yeah. Uh, not 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 in rift apart. Crack in time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but uh, until honestly, until PS4 and PS5, I've never really liked how Ratchet looked. I I, I do actually kind of like how he looks in Into the Nexus a little bit. Yeah, I I like how Ratchet looks in PS4 before he gets his Galactic Ranger outfit. Mm. That Galactic Ranger outfit is looks ass. I don't like it at all. Uh, Clank. No notes. He's always looked perfect. Yeah. They got him down at... Except for his eyes. His look? eyes in the first game are, like, weirdly too blue, I think, if I'm remembering right. How do you feel about the designs from, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh... That top-down game. I forget the name. All for one. Uh, it's not top-down. You confused me for a sec, because I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? Top-down? Yeah. Um, it's... I don't like the cork design in that game. I agree. But... I really think... From what I remember of the Ratchet design, I think it's one of my favorites. Um, and Nefarious and Clank look pretty much the way they did in, in the older games. Although, Nefarious is less yeah. detailed than he was before. Yeah, and he's got a bigger head. But other than that, Clank and Clank and Nefarious look fine. I hate Nefarious's like not robot design. That's that's one of my least favorite designs in the series. Oh yeah, in those in those comics. Yeah, in the comics or in the movie, especially the fucking movie. Oh my god. Yeah. It it looks it looks better in the movie than it does in Ratchet and Clank Three. I will say that, but I still don't like it. I. I'm I'm fuck it. I'm gonna say it. I fucking hate. I fucking hate Ratchet 1. Like, hate it! I think it's a bad game. <laughs> it's a really strong reaction. I don't think that, it's a bad game. That game really, really was a bad time for me. Like, I, I had barely any fun playing it at all. It it gave me the Rayman 1 effect, which was like, how the fuck did this game get any sequels? And thank god they were all better than this one. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think they get good at, like, Three. I think two is still kind of like okay ish. Two is okay. Three it still is, has like three is good. Two still has like some really big moments of frustration for me, especially near the end of the game. But it's already a better experience than one overall. Yeah. Um three but, is good and then and then um Deadlocked is good. Three three is where the series felt like it was finding its spot for me. Like where it was yeah. trying finally figured out what it was. Um it had a villain. Uh, that was probably- it's still the best in the series. Um, I don't even remember the villain of 2, if I'm being honest. What was the villain of 2 again? Uh, Quark in disguise. Oh, right. That was a half ass ending that was- t t you can tell they were rushed for that game. Yeah. Mr. Fitzwidget. 
I, I didn't, I never caught on to the fact that, like, Fit, Fitz, Fitzwidget, whatever the fuck his name is, um, I never caught on that because of his weird speech pattern, that it was Quirk in Disguise, because you never, like, really hear the original guy talk that much. Yeah. Ow. So, it's just like, oh, I just think that's a quirk of how he talks, right? Yeah. Instead of, instead of, uh, it making more sense that it's quark in disguise. Quark. Quark Fired. just being stupid and not knowing big words. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's this character not knowing these words more than, <laughs> but, no, set up for something that's not very well paid off. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that was a last minute inclusion as well from uh, what I heard. And like maybe like oh they're they're voiced by the same guy but I mean this guy voices a shit ton of characters in this series. <laughs> like all of these guys voice shit tons of characters from this series. Quark doesn't have a ton of dialogue in Rift Apart, uh, but he's got a new voice actor in that as well. Does he? Um, I think we talked about this before. You said he sounds he sounds good, right? He sa he, he sounds alright. He obviously sounds different because it's not the same guy, but. He makes it work. Yeah, that guy retired from voice acting because of what was it, cancer or something? I think. I think there was there was something something. Ow. Let me look it up actually before before I start <laughs> spreading misinformation. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Uh, quark. Ow. All right, I'm just gonna spam hits because I'm fucking sucking dick right now. What are you sucking dick? Yeah, um, Jim Ward. He has retired from voice acting due to symptoms of Alzheimer's. Oh, not cancer. Okay. Still yeah. very sad. His voice is... He, he was in a lot of stuff that I grew up with. He was in a lot of, like, Nickelodeon licensed games, too. Um, and you've, you've heard him in, uh, Destroy All Humans 2 as well. Because he plays, um, he plays the god. Uh, oh, the Arc Voodle. Yeah, Arc Voodle. Yeah. Arc Voodle, Lord, Lord. There's a... Uh, one of these boats, like, takes you to, um... Like, a spot behind this area, but I can't remember where it is. Ram, Chit, and Crank. Thank you, Ramani. That's, uh... That's what the next game is gonna be called. That's their innuendo for that one. Crash and Crank. <laughs> Fucked in the ass! What a, I still think it's really funny that you tried looking for that that image, and just <laughs> yeah. typed in "Ratchet and Clank fucked in the ass" in Google, and got exactly <laughs> what you you bargained for. Yes. Yeah, so, oh. Okay. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> ass ahoy. Whoa. Ass ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Facebook could have been so much better than what it is now. It had a it had a real heart to it back in its heyday. Yeah, it's just it's just it went on it went on for too long. Yeah, once they came back from the first cancellation, it was like this is not the same show anymore. This is so much more mean spirited. It's with a lot of things, right? It's with The Simpsons. It's with fucking. Yeah, but The Simpsons didn't, like, The Simpsons actually became less mean-spirited as, as the years went by, whereas, like, Family Guy, as far as I'm aware, is still very fucking mean-spirited towards... And I don't I don't mind, like, mean-spirited comedy sometimes, but, like, it's not even fun. It just comes off as bitter when it, w with yeah. Family Guy. That, that that one joke where they have... <laughs> First of all, they, they have Quagmire sexually assault Marge. Yeah. Oh, God. And then he... And then he has him coming over to their house and shooting all of the Simpsons individually. It's really weird. Yeah. Because the Simpsons made, made a joke at, like, Family Guy's expense once. It's true. And, um, pretty much everybody has made fun of Family Guy at this point. Yeah. Except for one show that Family Guy really has beef with, clearly. But, like, they've never d went down to that level. Fucking Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the staff of Family Guy's, like, damage is, but they fu they come off like they fucking hate that show. That show looks like it was animated in a moving car. It's like, you don't get to say that and be Family Guy. <laughs> yeah, you don't get this. Like, that's a- honestly, that's a funny joke. 
but you don't get to say it when your show looks as shit as Family Guy. <laughs> There, Especially there when... are some there are like when when they when they really go for it for certain jokes that show does really have good animation Family Guy sometimes yeah you can tell they clearly save up the budget for like yeah. the really good stuff like the stuff they know is really good which I guess is respectable in that way but like there's this one this one fight scene in the cafeteria uh, with uh, Chris and Meg and and, and it's set to like uh, Free Bird. It's it's insanely good. It's really well choreographed. And we like still, way too good for Family Guy. Our group still quotes some Family Guy jokes, like just because they are funny. Like, who the yeah. fuck starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Yeah. Like that joke is genuinely really good. Yeah. Whoa, ass ahoy, and uh. Yeah. <laughs> Three hours. Oh no, wait. Three days? That's tomorrow! That's also... <laughs> that's, that, that's from the earlier seasons, though. Yeah. And I'm not- I'm not against, like, subversive comedy. One of my- one of my favorite shows ever is Always Sunny, which every character in that is a piece of shit. But, like... They have to still be likable <laughs> pieces of shit. Yeah. Speaking of likable pieces of shit... Succession is a really fucking good show, <laughs> which you should all watch. Nice. Ah, Honest! Oh my god, the reticle is like so hard to see right here for some reason. There we go. Some Family Guy moments are fun. Yeah, like legitimately. Even some of the newer mm -hmm. ones like can sometimes go to genuine like... That's the thing though. Family Guy is funnier out of context than it is. <laughs> actually yeah. watching the show. It's, it's like really fun clips, but you have to like sit through an episode of Family Guy to reach those clips, you know? <laughs> it's true. Help. I didn't realize that was a teensy, I thought it was a hook. He needs to go buy some pickles. The, f the fucking scene in the car where they sing, where they sing that road trip song. And it's like really fucking good and they all, they all harmonize and shit. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so fucking funny, it makes you want to merge without looking! Yeah, that too! <laughs> Dude, this car kicks ass so I can watch my gas car while I'm driving. Uh, I think that's my biggest problem with Seth MacFarlane, is that he legitimately can be very funny sometimes, but like, he just... Yeah. It feels like he's just half-assing it a lot. I, I, I refuse to watch that fucking... What is it? A Thousand Ways to Die in the West? That movie looks like pure garbage! Yeah. Um, it's a million ways to die in the West, first of all. Whatever. Um, second of all... I love Family Guy when they make use of the fact that he's a really good singer. Dude, he trained under, like, the same person who trained fucking Sinatra. Yeah. He's... The best part of Sing, which is a movie I will also never see because I, I don't care. It looks like... Schlock. Is when he's singing fucking My Way. Like, th that is one of the best covers of My Way I've ever heard in my life. Um, actually, the AI Patrick cover is, oh, true. is the best true. version of My true. Way. True, 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 true. My bad. Thank you. Thank you uh, for agreeing with me. Raise off. <laughs> it's time you to should watch the Ted show. I, 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 I really want to see that. The porn version of Raise Off is Jack Off. That's terrible! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I should be laughing. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. Oh right, I forgot that this game has pre-rendered cutscenes sometimes. This isn't pre-rendered, never mind. Um <laughs> Hey, I'm back and oh you yeah, made it I'm to back. the end of the swamp. How far how long have we even been streaming for? I'm still ready to I'm still <laughs> gearing the I don't go. know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's something to bring up. Uh, Kane just watched all of Invader Zim with us uh, over the past like yeah. couple weeks. That was really fun. Oh, we we've been streaming for like an hour and a half. Oh well, wow. holy shit! I'm this far th in already. Yeah, no, Invader Zim is really fucking good. It might be one of my favorite cartoons, actually. It's really fucking funny. Oh right, I forgot he does that. It is, yeah, it's so good. And uh, the, the fucking line deliveries have like 
altered my brain chemistry forever. <laughs> yeah, you keep doing the like the the thing where it like raises in volume. Or, yeah, it's not it volume. What is that? It's like your op your your octaves are lower. Whatever. Yeah. What the fuck are these freakish things? I hate them. <laughs> Fly away. Good. If Kill he the wasn't the hunting them, I would be. <laughs> Uh, this guy's voiced by Eric Baza, um, which I just remembered because uh, one of the hurt sound effects just sounded like fucking like Bugs Bunny, or like a Mel Blanc character. Um, and for reference, Eric Baza plays a shit ton of Looney Tunes characters now. Yeah, he was the guy who went like uh, release Coyote for Sack Me, right? Yeah, I him. think so. Yeah. But uh, he does a he does a great job as a lot of those characters. I think yeah. he I think he voices both Daffy and Bugs at, at the very least. There's so much fucking bloom in this level. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I can't believe Sam is dead. True. Who's Sam? The serpent from Rayman 2? Ow. Yeah. America has a fucking fentanyl crisis. <laughs> I saw that clip. Uh, I still haven't seen the episode, though. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's, it's a good episode. I'll get around to it. I'm not... It's I'm not like long. Long. How long are you going to take to get around to watch... I'm not going to do animation. it right fucking now. <laughs> Let's everybody watch along. Let's do a watch along of fucking... Of Smiling, Smiling Friends. Friends episode one. <laughs> Season two, to be exact. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, episode one is the is the one with uh with Mike. Mike Stoklasa, yeah. Mike Stoklasa. I was gonna say Ermintra. <laughs> <laughs> I need a really good impersonator to dub that entire episode now. <laughs> <laughs> that got me so good. <laughs> Wooden statues of Sam do not count as the body. Yes, they do. Someone needs to trace that design too, so it's Mike from Breaking Bad with the gun to his head. <laughs> it's just... ah! Oh my fucking god! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Walter, the sun's just gonna explode, Walter. He killed Sam. Sam is dead. And so is I Eig, or Eeg, or whatever the fuck the name of that other monster is. Uh, what's his name? Big guy from Rayman 2 that I'm forgetting the name of. The, like, super buff guy. Clark, I think? Clark, yeah. Clark. Yeah, he's dead too. Everybody you loved in this series is dead. Yeah, fentanyl. <laughs> from fentanyl. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah, isn't there like an easter egg right here? I don't know. Wait, he'll like, I uh... don't know! This game yeah. is full of like weird little Easter eggs. Yeah, he'll he'll do some funny stuff. I never knew about that. <laughs> it's fun. Lee is dead. Lee is also dead. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> Why you always lying? Lee. There's a there's a Lee statue you can find too. Yeah, it's in the it's in the longer shortcut, right? Yeah. I don't know exactly where it is, I've never found it myself. Coppin. Coppin. It's weird. Why the fuck you lying? I haven't thought about that meme in a while. Oh my god. That was like a 2012, 2013 meme, right? Uh, I think it's a little newer than that. Like 2014? Yeah, 2014 or 2015 sounds right. Go look when that video was uploaded. That was wasn't that a Vine meme? I ain't your fucking errand boy, but I'll do it anyway. Wasn't that a Vine meme? Maybe. Oh. Oh shit. I think it, it must. Ah, have my Vine. bones! Eight years ago. What year was that? 2016, right? Uh, I think so. 2016? Oh, no, 2015. Okay. It just says eight years ago. Oh, because, yeah, YouTube is, like, back by a year, I think. Yeah. 
Fair September. Enough. Oh my god. God, I Stop miss Vine. Fucking lying. Vine was so much more fun than TikTok. Like, good things come out of TikTok. Don't get me wrong. There's some really funny shit on there. And I don't want to yeah. knock the entire fucking platform just because, like, there's garbage on it. I mostly have a problem with the company because, holy fuck. Yeah. I. I th th there's, like, individual TikTok videos I like, but I can't spend more than two seconds on that platform because it melts my fucking brain. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, like, fucking... Fucking those videos where it's like, oh, there's someone cooking to the side, and then there's uh, then there's someone playing Minecraft on the other side, and then just fucking AI voiceover shit. It's just like, holy fucking shit. As somebody with ADHD, this is what children watch now. As somebody with ADHD, this is overload. Ow. Yeah. I, I actually think it's a major... Uh, I think stuff like content like that is a major reason why people's fucking attention spans are so fucking low. Yeah. Um... Because I, I, like, there's a lot of movies that I, I, I like to watch a lot of old movies, and they're paced very well. But that means they're also paced a lot slower than modern movies. And like, I, yeah. I, I watch them, and a thought that usually pops into my head is like, nobody my age with an attention span worse than mine would want to watch this, even if it's one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Like, I, I was, I was watching 2001: A Space Odyssey, and that movie is. Pretty slow going. That is a 10 out of 10 movie. Like, that movie is fucking fantastic, but I, I just know there's a bunch of people our age that would never watch it, or, like, would fast forward through it, and it's like... That that actually upsets me more. I'd rather you just not watch it. Like, what the fuck? I've never seen it, but... that The book was written by the same guy who wrote Dune, right? Uh, no. no. Um, I don't think Arthur C. Clarke wrote, um... Oh, I don't know. No, yeah, no. Frank Herbert wrote Dune. Okay. Yeah, no. Arthur C. Clarke wrote 2001 A Space Odyssey. Um, I I want a Rama movie so bad. Uh, like, Rama is pretty much the only book book series of his I'm super familiar with. Um, because mm. I've actually read it and uh, played a bit of the game. Um, and it was really interesting seeing his writing style on the big screen uh, with 2001, because he co-wrote that movie with Stanley Kubrick. Um, oh, that's why. Get my ass kicked! Fuck you. Isn't there supposed to be a power up in here? Am I stupid right now? My brain is not working. Speaking of Vine, remember Thomas Sanders? I don't remember Thomas Sanders. I do. He made a bunch of like cartoon like videos on Vine. Aren't there supposed to be a power up here, isn't there? Let me look him up. Maybe I might maybe I'd recognize him. Uh I found him very annoying, personally. Ow. Oh. Oh, yeah, I recognize this guy, but I've never laughed at him. Am I being stupid right now? Chat, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? I, I feel like I've completely... I I've, I think I've completely forgotten. I could have sworn there was supposed to be one of those strength power-ups, right? Remember Drew Gooden? I do. I sure hope it does. <laughs> I sure hope it does. He's, he's, a fun, he's a funny old boy. He's got a sort of, like, successful YouTube channel now, doesn't he? He does. Well, somewhat successful. I think it's. Re I think he's really successful. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. I don't, I don't keep up with those people. I I, oh, I, a, I never got like attached to creators on Vine. Oh, there we go. No, I th I I think you'd like his videos, honestly. Maybe. Drew Gooden. Why does the lighting completely change every time I fall into one of the pits? Fucking out. I can't. Nebula says you need to hit him more. I'm being stupid. There we go. Oh, I see. Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel silly? There we go. Get fucked, you stupid fucking fucker! You sounded like Jordan Peterson then. <laughs> Whoa! What? That sounded like Jordan Peterson. I don't know. Get fucked, you stupid fucker! Get fucked, you stupid fucking fucker! <laughs> no, I can't Walk live with moralist. that! <laughs> Walk moralist!
I mean, how, how does it feel to be Jordan Peterson? <laughs> Buffalo Bill. I'm not Jordan Peterson. Start crying when talking about young men. Man, he really has a thing for young men, huh? Yeah. Fuck you! I think Bob. I think I think Bob Odenkirk also go. made fun of him for that. Oh, awesome! He didn't like. He did like an impression of him. Where he started crying and shit. I'm glad Nebula isn't here because he would be yelling at me so much. <laughs> Remember when I was playing Wind Waker? He got so fucking upset that I was doing, like, a thing early. <laughs> I, I don't remember that. <laughs> it was really funny. I hate these fucking things so much. They're so gross. This is a weird popular thing, like, that 2000s media really like to do, especially a kids' media, where it basically ends with rape. <laughs> I was watching Rise Tax stream the other day, and I completely- I, I didn't really think about it, but yeah, that game kind of ends the same way. <laughs> but it's funny. <laughs> you can't say that! King! No, sorry. <laughs> I can't justify that, sorry. I wasn't really thinking, I'm sorry. Genuinely. No, it's fine, it's fine, and also very funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I love having my friends on. <laughs> sorry. No, it's fine, I'm being genuine, it's fine. Shut up. Stop apologizing, I swear to God. Um, for some reason that conversation just made me think of one of my favorite house episodes. <laughs> You're so fucking autistic. Go on. So, <laughs> there's an episode of House MD. I really like House MD, despite some of its, um, problems. Um, but there's this really great episode where House has a patient that is, um, a victim of rape. Uh, and the, the 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 subject matter is handled very well, which is very ser uh, surprising for a, a like a, a show that has a character that's as abrasive as House, who says really fucked up shit, mostly just to get reactions out of people, and less because he actually believes it. And it, it 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 it's this really great episode about him just like having basically philosophical uh, philosophical debates with this woman, um, like over uh, what matters, like like, uh, religion, god, and it's, it's just so well written. House is, honestly, Kane, I think you'd really like House. I don't think it's, mm, it's not maybe. Breaking Bad good, but it is still very tightly made, especially the first three seasons, which are some of my favorite t uh, seasons of TV I've ever watched. I've, I've, I've seen little, little bits and pieces from House, but it, it doesn't really seem like my type of show, honestly. That's fair. This level is peak vibes. True. We're actually almost up to the, the, the tower part we were talking about earlier. Um, something I find interesting about this level is it's the land of the living dead, right? Like, that's what this is supposed to be? Yeah. But I was so used- when I first played this, I was so used to the one from the, um, from Man Origins that I was like, What the fuck happened? <laughs> the land of the living dead in, 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 in Rayman Origins is- It's just hell. It's pretty much just hell. It's just hell. It's- <laughs> But, he, but here it's very serene and, like, yeah. a big vibe. This music is you know great. What, you know what I also like about um, Rayman Origins version? <laughs> like, when you when you enter that version, you can just see a bunch of old people playing, like, Jeu de Boule, which is, like, a French <laughs> game. It's fun. It's, it's just fun to watch. It's like, oh, this game is really French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's true. Man, what am I missing here? Or Patonk, as they call it. Help. Bob Odenkirk, Jordan Peterson. That's what I was looking for. Ah, uh, yes. I didn't know Globox had that dialogue. That's really funny. There's so much shit about this game I still don't know. 
Like, I'm, I'm sure there's a fuck ton of dialogue I've never heard before. What, what was your first Rayman game? Um... I... I got, like, a, a collection of Rayman games when I was young, like, when when Rayman turned 10 years old, mm. they bundled, like, a bunch of games, um, so I got Rayman M, 2, and 3, and I don't know which I played first, but, uh, I remember liking 3 the most, so I'm gonna say 3. <laughs> Yeah, so I found the Jordan Peterson video. I'm gonna send that to you, but you can watch that after the stream. That's um, my my first was Origins in 2011. Like I I I played that game when it was fairly new, um, and I fucking fell in love with it. It is, I'm not much of a 2D platformer guy. Over 3D platformers, I always prefer 3D platformers. Um, but that is legit one of the best fucking games I've ever played, 2D platformer or otherwise. Yeah, it's really fucking good. Um. There are very few 2D platformers I really love as much as Origins, both of which I think are just Mario games, honestly. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm so I'm so lost. Do I have to? I think there's. Get this is there a plum here somewhere? There or is, but it's it's up it's up there. Oh, I I I, I saw the the. But I need the I need the other thingy. Yeah, I need the jetpack power up, but I need I need the thing to get this down first. But I didn't Is see that it. in the other area, maybe? Go back? It might have been. I might have just completely missed it. Yeah, I think a ghost put, like, a, an upgrade down there. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. And you and I met in the second Rayman reanimated collab, I think? Yes. Well, after that, I think, even. Well, yeah, because I, I never talked in that server, so I, like, I never interacted with anyone. Uh, <coughs> like, the, fir the first server, Lance can attest to this, because he was in that, that group, too. I fucking, um, oh, oh, right, 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 um, I, I, I talk all the time with people, um, but in, in the second one, like, I was not there, I did not care at all to be a part of most of those conversations, because there was so many more people there. <laughs> Duck says my, my first Rayman game might have been Rayman 2 on N64, when I would just download any ROM I could download on ROM websites. And you guys all They're played funny. the earlier games before me. Yeah. I got the plum. There we go. Rayman M is such a weird game. It is. It's fun. Um. I think that's about as much as I can say about it, honestly. Yeah. I like some of the concepts, but I I, I don't know. You need a friend to get the most out of that kind of game, and like. I guess Rayman Arena, right? That's like how it how it's called in the states. Um, it- the name depends on which version of it is. It is. Uh. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> this is one really great fucking, um, fan ed ed edited video for Puss in Boots that is- I fucking adore. I think it even has, like, original- what the fuck is that? What do you mean? <laughs> I think it even has, like, original music. Why is this not targeting now? Hello? <coughs> Fuck you! Stand a bit further. There, there you go. go. Um. <coughs> but yeah, it's it's it. I, I don't I don't have it on hand. Uh, otherwise, I'd put it, put it in like the chat or something. Ah! Fuck! I'm getting turned around. <laughs> that guy just shot the other guy. It's fun. I love when enemies can hit each other. I love when the. Um... When skeletons hit each other in Minecraft, <laughs> and it just becomes like a fight between the two of them. Yeah. I don't know how you were supposed, how anybody ever figured out that one disc thing. By the way, where you have to get a skeleton to kill a creeper. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking girl. I watched the girl original girl. Shrek again for the first time in a long while, and it kind of nuts how well that film holds up. Yeah, we we fucking we uh we marathoned every Shrek movie in like one go. Uh, yeah, like a year ago at this point now. Yeah, when Puss in Boots was in theaters. Yeah. Oh wow, that's fucked or, or, up. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it was that it was crazy how all but the third one hold up really fucking well. Yeah. 
Isn't there a secret here? I don't care I don't enough. Know. I don't know! <laughs> oh my god. Are you gonna do this every oh, time? Oh, oh here we fucking section. go. Yeah. I, d I don't like those. Yeah, they go on too long. They go they go on too long and they don't control all that well. Nope. It's also like impossible to fail them. Watch me fail True. Uh, right after I said. <laughs> Fuck you. Trick is good. Yeah. One I, might even say it is love. I honestly think my favorite might be the fourth one. I can't agree with that. I think uh, I, I'm, I'm a basic bitch. I think the second one is. Uh, yeah, best. yeah. Everybody thinks the second one's good. Yeah. Though I don't think it's nearly the best Dreamers movie ever made. I think like the bad guys. No, actually, I genuinely, yeah. I think Puss in Boots is my favorite. <laughs> I, the second I, one. I think like like uh, the first two Kung Fu Panda movies are better than than Shrek Two. I need to rewatch those think. movies at some point. I think. Um, Megamind's better than Strike 2, but Megamind's just my favorite DreamWorks movie, so there you go. I wish I wish Megamind looked a bit better, but other than that, it's it's a really fucking good movie. Weird thing for me is like I love animation, but none of my favorite like none of my top like five favorite movies are animated at all. Yeah, I have the two on Letterboxd. Like none of my favorite movies are animated, but that's. That's also because like one of the, most of the big budget animated movies from the states or like the West in general are geared towards kids. Yeah, it's true. One of my favorite animated movies is uh, Mad God. Um, it's really messy. Uh, you can tell it was made over the course of thirty years. Um, but holy fuck, is it such an interesting experience to watch? Yeah, there's a there's a new movie that came out too that has like a similar story and it's called like the. Um, Primevals? Something like that? Yeah, you, you uh, showed me a trailer for that a while ago. Yeah, it's like, like the, the original creator um, died before he could finish it, but then uh, they, they raised some money and finally finished the film in like uh, 2022? I don't remember. Oh but God. it's cool. Um, but from what I've seen, it's not, it's not great, but it's still cool that it gets made. I don't know. I, I, I like that it... Blah. Jesus Christ, I like that they finished it. Yeah. Where are you going? Cool. <laughs> oh yeah, Doug, Duck Doug Duckington says, I should totally rewatch The Bad Guys after having gone on a crazed Manic Lupin bander. Yeah, I gotta tell you, The Bad Guys, you can so tell that that game was, yeah. that, that movie was inspired by Lupin. I could tell too, and I, and I haven't watched any Lupin. <laughs> That that movie has that movie is like if Lupin the Third was combined with fucking um, with Tarantino movies, and that yeah. is so fucking awesome. Although I will say, I'm, I'm I'm not as crazy about the bad guys as as most people are. I I, I, th I, th I thought it was I thought it was a fun movie the first time I watched it, but then the second time around I tried it. I watched it on a plane again, and it was just like. Uh, <laughs> doesn't hold up as well. It definitely has some watch. it definitely has some things that I think are kind of uninteresting. Um Yeah. I don't really care much for the villain. I don't think he's that interesting. That's that's my main issue with it, yeah. But the main characters are a lot of fun to watch. Uh and there's also there's some jokes that are like too juvenile even for me to get anything out of. Yeah. Like this the, the I like the police officer lady. She's fun. Yeah, she is fun. She's she's one of the best uh, running things in the movie. Yeah. The the music was really tight in that movie too. I I really like that one song that plays at the like. The the meteorite, thing. I don't party. even fucking remember. Yeah, the party. It was like a fundraiser or something. Or... I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, but that's a, that's a good song. I like my, I like all the character designs. It's a great looking movie, and that one fucking fight scene in the, in the prison. Yeah, that was great. Uh, especially the use of, like, hard greys. I, I love that. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. One of the weirdest movies I watched recently that I, uh, both love and think most people would probably hate is Repo, the genetic opera. That's the- by the way, I guess spoilers, uh, that's gonna be what the next Horrid Hour is going to be on, so keep an eye out for that! 
Uh, but what I'll say about it now is that it's a fucking crazy movie. Uh, that if you're a theater kid, a goth, uh, or a wannabe goth theater kid, or a goth theater kid, there's something for you there! Oh, the side of my tongue hurts really bad because I bit it yesterday. Oh, um, God. I, I really hope you didn't get, like, an ulcer or something, because that happens to me sometimes when I bite my tongue too hard. What's an ulcer? Um, it's like a blister on your t Oh, fuck you, you piece of shit! I, 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 I think I have one, then. <laughs> oh, I'm s yeah, those don't go away very quickly either, and they tend to just no. get more painful for a while. Oh, well. It, it makes eating really difficult for me when I have them. Live and learn. Well, you can't really... You can't really learn from an experience like that, because, like, most people don't anticipate biting their own tongue. I've, I've learned not to bite my tongue anymore. That's not how that works. You know, it's kind of overrated. Not all that funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's one of my favorite... <laughs> one of my favorite David Cross jokes, just like... <laughs> so I just got done watching uh, Schindler's List and... Uh, <laughs> not that funny! <laughs> my... 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 I th my favorite David Cross thing is still his letter to, um... To... to uh, Larry the Cable Guy. If you've never watched that... Or listen to it more. You you gotta listen to it. It is one of the most scathing, like things I've ever heard a comedian say to another comedian, and I I fucking love it every time I listen to it. Oh, I need to I, I need to look that up then. I've never heard it. Yeah, just look up David Cross, uh, Larry the Cable Guy. You'll find it on YouTube immediately. David Cross. Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable Guy, by the way, played Mater, <laughs> for all of you people who, who might not recognize his name. I forgot that playing on console, like, sometimes- Clobox moment! Uh, sometimes, um, the, the blacks are even darker, like, uh, mm -hmm. than they, they would be, uh, normally. Because the, 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 like, modern versions of Rayman 2, like the HD version, is a lot brighter than this, but I don't know. I've always, I've always kind of liked how dark, uh, like PS2 and GameCube games looked. Uh, it just, it there's a certain vibe, uh, that modern games don't get with this look, you know, uh, or without this look, I mean. Rinsing your mouth with salted water for a couple of minutes. I'm not gonna do that. Sounds cringe. Oh, this is one of my least favorite enemies in the game because it takes fucking forever to die. Oh, yeah. And these fucking bomb assholes. There must be, like, a, a, a way to beat these without it taking forever. But I never figured it out. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, like, turn away after you, you throw your fist, but, like, I don't... Mmm. I fucking hate you! And they don't even show up that much. There's like two of them in the whole fucking game. Yeah. And this game also had a lot of cut content, right? Content. Jesus, content. I would have never noticed that I, that you did that. That was a Rich Evans oh. moment right there. <laughs> Holding Chapel. Wow. You know what? Fuck you. Blocks your fists while sending little scrimblows your way with bombs. <laughs> These guys are so easy to kill, what? Fuck you, Neb! <coughs> you're like- Are we- You're like a Dark Souls close? player. Are we close to what? <laughs> are we close to like the land of, um, or, or like the desert of the Knarren? Uh, that's not the for Narin. a while from now. We'll probably if if I stream the game again, we'll probably get to it in that that one. But I think I think the most we're gonna see is the um, I think we're gonna see like the beginning of the longest shortcut with how long we've been going. Mm. Which I don't even know how long that's been. Oh, these guys. This, I like these guys. This track fucks. These guys are fun. Fun concept too, where you gotta hit uh one enemy to bring them out. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Which I would be able to do if I could fucking get into the actual arena. Ah! I gotta use this song in a video at some point. Like maybe a Halloween video or something. I was about to say, like, I I feel like you've used this already. The video. I don't think I have, actually, surprisingly. Mm. I actually haven't used much Rayman music in general. Um, mm. and most of it's from Rayman 2 that I've used. I think the only- I think I've only used two Rayman 3 tracks. The desert is after this. Oh. My bad. Oh yeah, there's like- there's like the big tower coming up, right? Yeah. And then the desert is after that. I gotta be honest, Maybe. I don't remember a lot of this stuff. Like, the, I, I remember, I remember this stuff happening, but I don't remember in what order it happens. Yeah, I get you. Oh my god, the fucking camera following the ship is really fucking with me right now. I I I know the the opening few hours of this game really well because as a kid I didn't have a memory card. Oh man. So I would just play it over and over and over again. Oh, right. My bad. The longest shortcut is after the desert. Why does why does Nebula go so mad at me for not knowing things that he knows? M must have deserved it then, hey. Oh, true. If Nebula if Nebula fucking hates your guts, it's usually for good reason. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hit, game! Yeah, th th that's what you are aiming for, definitely. <laughs> that's definitely the, traje tra the trajectory that thing was going in. Oh wow, I'm really low on health. I've never seen the game over screen in Rayman 2, and I don't think I've ever seen it in this one either. Hmm. What the fuck? I don't know, man. That's like a five- that's like a five-year-old shooting out every joke he knows in succession. Hoping <laughs> one of them will land. He said galaxy far, far away. That's Star Wars. Pretty sure Psychonauts 2 has a similar hoodoo enemy called the Enabler. It does, and it's much more fucking obnoxious than this game to fight. I, I've gone on record before, but I, I don't like Psychonauts 2's combat that much, and I'm really glad there's an option to turn on combat that makes- that's way faster. Because, holy fuck, every enemy in Psychonauts 2 both takes, like, way too long to die with default settings, and I, I hate the fact that combat is a requirement. Because in, in the original Psychonauts, you didn't need to do combat. Um, most of the time, at least. I, I, there might have been some instances that I'm not remembering. But, like, I fucking, I don't, I, I, platforming, I come to a platformer for platforming primarily. The only way you're going to get me interested in the combat is if the combat is really fucking good. And, buddy, you ain't Rayman 3 and you ain't uh, Alice Returns, which are like the only two platformers I've ever played that actually have good combat. Ratchet Clank, though. Ratchet Clank. Okay, and, and Ratchet and Clank 3 and Deadlocked. Although, those games are yeah. barely platformers anymore at that point. That's true. They're more third-person shooters. I... Can you... Stop getting stuck on shit! Classic glow box moment. So, Hane, hmm? what went into designing this tomb? Oh, oh, fuck yeah. This... This almost makes me want a remake of this one. <laughs> Although, knowing no, Ubisoft, they'd probably fuck it up. They would. They would. They would add, like, an always online element to it. Yeah. Like, check your... Oh, put your stats against your friends. For a 3D platformer, they would totally yeah. fucking do that shit. Man. It's like you can spend your Ubisoft points on a on a glow box skin. God, dude, 
It was such a relief when Crash 4 had skins, and they were just part of the game. Yeah. Like, they're just part of the fucking game. You unlock them by doing specific challenges. Part of the fucking game, mate. And uh, microtransactions? We can't even call them microtransactions now. Every microtransaction is like $20 now. Yeah, fucking, fucking Fortnite skins cost like up to $20 or, shit, or some shit like I that. I could buy a fucking... In if I can buy There's, an um... indie game for the amount of money I'm spending for your fucking yeah. skin... We lo we've lost the plot. We've completely lost the fucking plot. You missed some stuff, by the way. Help. I thought I did. There's some stuff below, right? With a plum? Yeah. Help. Yeah. Help. Fake CVR plane crashes channel. Welcome to the stream! I don't know it's what like to make that. of your username. There it is. This is so... This is actually kind of dark to a, to a fault now, because I kind of cannot see what's below me. That's what I get for analog video. Yeah. Or as Rai likes to call it, anal log. Oh god. <laughs> right, man. This is my favorite game. Well, it is a very good game. I can see why it would be your favorite. Help. Fucking god damn it, mate. You know what's my favorite game? What is your favorite game? It's called Switch. It's like, you stick two fingers up your ass, and two fingers in your mouth. You know what's the worst thing <laughs> about I, this joke? And when I say go, you switch. You know what's the worst thing about this joke? <laughs> what? So there's this, there's this joke video about, um, uh, fucking Gabe Newell. Talking about, like, it's just some actor that barely even looks like him. Um... And he he says that exact joke, but he, it's like oh I would do it with like my my, my cousin or whatever like or or his uh, his nephew or whatever is like a joke. Mm. Actor turned out to be a sex offender. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the idea of that is just so fucking no rancid. It is. I'm just sticking. <laughs> Sticking two wet fingers in your ass and two poopy fingers in your mouth. You never go ass to mouth. <laughs> you never go ass to mouth. Where the hell is this plum supposed to be? I thought freeing that teensy would give me the power up I need to lower these um platforms, but I can't. I guess not. Well, there's the plum. Knock it off. Knock it over. <laughs> I forget, doesn't the plum fall apart in water? <coughs> I don't know. Even though in Rayman 2 it could fucking float in lava? Yeah. You yeah, know what, maybe speaking you get of... power up from there. I don't know. Speaking of combat, one thing I hate that's taken off is the term walking sim, and how it's been slapped onto literally any game that doesn't have any semblance of combat. Yeah, what happened to calling games puzzle games? Like, The Witness is a shitty game with shitty puzzles, but it's not a walking simulator. It's a puzzle game. Puzzle. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I can't fucking believe this. For fuck's sake. I'm starting to wonder oh, if my hard. the cable I have to to hook this up is starting to is like fuck freaking out or something because this is this this feels too dark. What the hell am I? I'm so fucking lost as to what I'm supposed to do. Maybe just make your way to the top yeah. of the tower and see. If you if you miss like one extra TNC, it doesn't really matter. It's a little hard to gauge where I am right now because of how fucking dark everything is. There's the claw power up. That doesn't help me with the uh, the other thing. The claw. <laughs> uh, that's a series that did not need to continue at all and is somehow yeah. getting a new entry. They're making Toy Story 5. And should have ended at 2. Should have ended at 2. 3 is just a worse version of 2. 
Seriously, if you start, like, looking at 3, it is almost exactly the same movie. Like, beat for beat. But people like the scene where he say goodbye, Andy. I... I where, where he say so long, gay Bowser. I, I hate how cheap the emotional moment in that movie... The emotional moments are in that movie. Yeah. Like, the, um... The whatever. The, um... The, like, scene where everybody's gonna die. Like... Yeah, they're gonna die. I totally buy that. <laughs> the only people who would actually believe that are kids, but I saw like adults falling for that, and it's like, what? Yeah. Toy Story 4 is also just kind of like. Yeah. I'm not even bothered. I don't care. I, I, I've seen it. I've, I, I heard people say it was good, and people lied. <laughs> Shazam all over again. Yeah, just fucking Shazam. Fucking a lot of things, actually. The, the, that Dungeons and Dragons movie, I don't like. I mean, it's, it's it's not horrible or anything, but it's just, like, very generic. Duck, fuck you for saying nothing burger. I, I'm so sick of the word nothing burger. <laughs> just say nothing! He, he, he knows you hate that word. Probably why he said that. <coughs> like old, park, old old Pixar didn't pull any punches. Yeah. It, no, old Pixar was it really, really fucking good, and then like the, I don't know everything that came like, out after Wally is just a fucking even Up. I will even argue that Up, like outside of that first fifteen minutes, it's just kind of whatever. Incredibles 2 is just such a kids movie, and then Incredibles Incredibles 1 is so, like, emotionally mature. Yeah, it's crazy. For a kids movie. Yeah. Like, the whole subplot where, like, uh, Helen suspects that Bob is cheating on her and shit like that. And all, this, and, and all the heroes that got killed, or at least implied to be killed. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's heavy stuff for a kids movie. I remember when kids' movies used to have heavy stuff. Now it just kind of feels like they're all yeah. about, like, the same sh like, a, a, a lot of them are about generational yeah. trauma, which I'm not entirely against, but holy fuck, it's like every goddamn, it's every yeah. kid's but, animated movie now. I, f I feel like as a kid, I, I would also appreciate that stuff more. It's like, whoa, this is like, kind of like a cool adults movie for kids, you know? Yeah. I, I, I didn't like being treated by being treated like a kid as a kid. So we're, ne why, we're never getting we'll, another Secret we'll of Nim. <laughs> I watched Secret of Nim, of Nim again recently, and I, I think it's kind of <laughs> maybe a bit overrated. I haven't watched it in a long time, to be fair, but I remember it being very mature. It was, it, it it's, yeah. It's a really nice looking movie. It's, yeah, that's Don Bluth for you. I watched it with, uh, with Duck. Was that Don Bluth? That was Don Bluth, right? It was. Yeah. And then he went to make that shitty penguin movie, and I, I don't know what happened there. I, I don't I don't know what happened with his career in general. He, he was gonna make like a Dragon Slayer movie, but they were like coloring it digitally, and it looked bad. I don't I don't... Know, he's just he's he's just. Yeah. It's a shame. A uh, uh, a project I really liked that I was really excited for, um, was being made by, uh, Maxwell Adams, the creator of Billy and Mandy. Yeah. Uh, it was, like, this puppet movie where it was, like, set during a zombie apocalypse. Mm. And I was really excited for it because I love Maxwell Adams' style of comedy. He's a fucking weirdo. But the, it, he had to cancel it because some of the actors weren't part of a union. And you can't, mm. you can't mix union actors with non-union actors, it's just not allowed. Cringe. So he had to cancel it, and it's just like, fuck, man, that sucks. Couldn't you just made the movie and recast some, some of the non-union, non-union, union, I think, union, I think union. he was, like, really dead set on having those actors, though. I think one of them was, mm. uh, Radio Voltaire? Um, who's a long-time, like, friend of Maxwell Adams. He played the brain, that, like, big brain meteor in, um, Billy and Mandy, if you remember that at all. If you even watched that show. I never watched that show as a kid. Mm. 
I, did, I didn't have Cartoon Network as a kid. Uh, you missed out, man. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. That was funny. There's some... Oh, man, Cartoon Network was like the shit. I... I... I did. I only got Cartoon Network when I was like twelve. So um, that's what, where, where I first caught Clone Wars. Mm. Uh, and I guess there was that there was like this weird sequel series to Ben Ten, which looked ago. Oh yeah. Uh, well, there were like three of those. The only good-looking one was Omniverse. Yeah, Omniverse, I remember looking good. Oh, like, Derek J.Y., like I miss two, you. There were two before that that looked ugly as shit. They, they looked okay. Uh, they didn't look as good as the original show, but they definitely didn't. Yeah. They remind me of, um... They remind me of how Korra looks at times. No, Korra looks way better. Uh, Korra Season 1 looks way better. Yeah, Korra Season 2 looks bad. Yeah, every season after Season 1 looks way worse. No, I, I disagree. I think season three looks good again. I, okay, is, to be fair, is, is I, to be fair, I, 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 I think I've only ever seen like season two for the most part. Like, not like watched it, but I've, like animation quality. Um, because mm. you, you know, I've only seen the first season, and I wasn't interested in watching anything after that. Oh, why are you commenting on the on the later seasons, dumbass? I'm allowed to talk about it. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you! No, you said like every season beyond season one looks bad. But yeah, and then I corrected myself by saying that season two. I I don't need to, to see the full season to know when the animation looks bad when I've still seen some of the animation. Okay, whatever. You're wrong, but okay. How? How? What? How? <laughs> how? I have fucking working eyes. I can see when something looks bad. I, yeah, but I don't. I don't fucking know. I. I. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh know. my god. <laughs> Words. Can we talk about the I'm Little Nightmares see. movie that never happened? I care more about oh. the Little Nightmares TV show and comic that never happened because the TV show was supposed to be fucking stop motion animated. Whoa! I said that really weird. <laughs> and the comic was being done by one of my favorite fucking illustrators, uh, Aaron Alexevich, who worked on Zim. Um, and it looked amazing, but it, it got cancelled, like, halfway through. Oh. Uh, awesome. I'm watching season one of Korra right now. And it's pretty good so far. I'm, I'm like, it's episode four. Yeah, I remember season one being pretty good. Not as good as the original Avatar, but I liked what I saw when I was no. younger. Yeah. But everything, I, after, I everything do... after that just does not... I don't vibe with the ideas introduced. Yeah, I... I do wonder, though. Um, Ow. Because I, I, I don't remember this. I, I did watch it before. But I don't remember whether, whether they, they will actually address the problems between, like... Benders and non-benders that they introduced in that season. Cause I, I, I don't know. I feel I, I feel like that's another one of. There's a risk of that being another one of those like, villain has a good point. Let's beat the shit out of him and address do nothing to address his actual grievances. Why did they all get canceled? I don't I I I don't know. I don't know why all the little nightmare stuff got canceled. Also, yeah, I don't I don't know if any of that shit gets addressed. Um, they should address it, though. They set it up. They set it up in the original yeah. Avatar, kind of. Did they? Uh, kind of. Like, you can tell, like, non-benders are a little discriminated against, but it's, they don't really go that hard into it. No. Yeah, th there was that one episode where Sokka was all upset about all his friends having, like, fucking superpowers and him being just kind of, like, normal. Yeah. Um. That's gotta be shitty, man. Like... Most of the- a lot of the population has fucking, like, superpowers to the point, like, there are several different nations focused around the people having those superpowers. Yeah. And then you're born one of the fucking schmucks that doesn't. I- I-, oh. I I'm part of the Earth Nation, I guess. Doesn't really matter, though, does it? Yeah, how would a wor world like that function where, like, everyone has superpowers except a few people? 
Well, I I guess it's like the vast majority of people don't have it, right? In Avatar. Uh. There's like I, a select few that have it. I. Yeah, but there's enough. There's enough for the nations to be focused around it, you know. True. Corn. I'm gonna say like. One in four people has it. That's still it's, a lot it's, of it's, fucking it's people, I, dude. It's what I'm just gonna pull out of my ass. To be fair, the people in power probably would have superpowers. Yeah, true. Because I mean, like, what the fuck am I gonna do to stop somebody who can bend metal with their mind? It's not with their mind. Or whatever. who can just bend my fucking blood with their mind. Yeah, dude! Dude! Blood bending is the most fucked up thing that series ever introduced. Yeah. That episode is so fucking good. Yeah, the one where the, the where's, it's crazy too because it's like a huge role reversal episode, with yeah. uh with Zuko and Katara. Oh, uh, what are we talking? I'm I'm talking about the episode with like the old lady. Yeah. Hello. Hmm. I'm talking about the episode. Oh, I thought you were like with... talking about something in chat. No. Episode with the old lady? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that episode. Where, where, where bloodbending gets introduced. Oh, I thought you were talking about that later episode where she uses it on that one guy. Yeah. That's also a good episode. That's a fantastic episode. The, the entire show is so fucking good. Okay! Oh, right. That's so gross. Um... So much of that shit is, like, not in the order I remember it being in. Thanks, I- I don't need this. There we go. I don't know why this is on rails when in Rayman 2 it wasn't. Um, maybe because you are stupid. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we destroyed this man. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, he is going to fucking die. I- I'm gonna read chat again. Okay. Cause there's a lot of chat things that we missed. That's how you do that, that's right. Like, after Shrek, there was this unwritten formula a lot of animated films and even hybrid CG films followed for a long time until after the 2010s. Like the- like the- the- not the Smorks. The Smurfs. That's what it's called. The Smurfs, yeah. The Smorks. <laughs> that's a different thing that's also like the Smurfs, right? They're like underwater. The Snorks, that's what they're called. The, the Snorkels, right? I think it's just Snorks. It might be Snorkels in like... I don't know. Maybe maybe in the Netherlands it's called Snorkels. Smurfs. With fucking Neil Patrick Harris. What happened to him? I, I, I don't ever see him in anything. Um, wasn't he... I don't know. I genuinely don't know what he's up to these days. Yeah. I, he was in that, in that series of Unfortunate Events show. Yeah, I heard that's um, a I heard that's a better adaptation of the book than the uh, the movie was with Jim Carrey. Yeah, I, I I tried watching that show, but I couldn't get into it. I find it really interesting that the author of the book, like the the, or the in universe author of the book, is played by fucking Patrick Warburton of all people. All right, Peter. Like that's a hell of a casting choice. Yeah, I recently learned he's also like very oh. right wing, which. Oh, uh, we talked about this when we played uh, Sackboy, I think. Oh yeah, true. Ow. That sucks. It does. I wish Harry Peter was a normal guy. Hmm. But, we also found out recently that the guy that plays Cosmo and Jorgen in Fairly Odd Parents, Dean, Dean Norris? No, not that's, that's Hank! That's, that's Hank! That's Hank. Uh, it's Dean, I think it's Dean something. I think that's why, or their names are similar, that's why I mix them up. But he's gay, and has a husband. <laughs> Hank is also gay and has a husband. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 hey, Walt. it's Walt. It's <laughs> Walt. 
<laughs> no, uh, no, it's it obviously would be Gomez, right? Gomi? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that cheats on Marie with Gomi. <laughs> Honestly, I could see that becoming like a real plot point in like a a, a show like that. Yeah. Like he's very closeted. Yeah. Till he meets Gomi. <laughs> Marie, he he showed me what it meant to actually fall in love. <laughs> oh fuck! I love Breaking Bad so much. The next video I'm making has a Breaking Bad reference in it. That's also a huge spoiler, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think is this the racist part coming up? No, that's the final doctor. This is okay. the this is the chill one coming up. That's after the Desert of the Canaran. How long have we been going? Uh, b b two and a half hours. Alright, we still got like an hour, or an hour maybe. Speaking of Cosmo, that new uh, Fairly Odd Parents show coming soon looks surprisingly neat. I I think we were just talking about this the other day, right? Maybe, I don't, I don't remember. It's, it's a, like another reboot or whatever, I don't, I don't fucking know. I wonder who they're gonna yeah. cast as Timmy, because Tara Strong is never getting work again. That fucking animation they made for their live-action show... Oh my god, yeah, looked, it's so ass. It looks... fucking... I I, I, oh, there he is. I don't like saying shit like this. Because, you know, the, oh, whoops. Be, behind, behind every project there's, like, actual people. But... It looked really bad. It did. There's no way... It, there's no way of uh, of going around that. Yeah, there's no beating around the bush on this one. Um, yeah. That fucking front-facing Crocker will haunt my dreams. And it was very clearly rushed too. Why? Oh, well, I wasn't paying attention to the screen. I was like, why? Why didn't I go? No, 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 no way. There we go. Those projectiles yeah. travel so slowly. <laughs> it's like I don't know if you've ever seen it, but there's a uh, there's these characters in Aqua Teen Hunger Force called the Moonanites. They have this gun that shoots incredibly slow projectiles, and it's one of the <laughs> funniest jokes in the show. Speaking of getting high and watching Adult Swim. Well, must have been a late night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> My colleague explained everything. <laughs> Wow, seems like you swallowed a black lump. We're going to the Tomb of the Asians next. See, what? Black lumps, what it okay, so I'm not being ra I'm not being like racist. I'm making reference to um when Mark streamed Rayman 3. Uh I was on there with Neb and a couple of other people that don't matter cuz they're not me. Um <laughs> But yeah. Neb said Tomb of the Ancients. <laughs> Uh, and it sounded like, uh, well, it sounded like Tomb, Tomb. of the Asians. <laughs> Tomb of the Asians. <laughs> that was a funny expression. I hate you! Get owned. Get owned, Neb. The main character is this little black girl, and Wanda and Cosmo are retired and living as humans, uh, human adults until the little girl and her family move in right next to her their apartment. Is this an animated show or is this also live action? Because if it's live action again, it's that's. I think it's animated. I would hope it's animated. Although, man, what? Oh, dude, I don't know if you ever saw it, but the animation, like the final couple seasons of uh, Fairly Odd Parents, <laughs> it was yeah. all it was all puppet animation, and it was not good puppet animation either. No, it didn't look that good. What happened to, to Mr. Butch Hartman? Um, what, is he, what is he up to nowadays? I think he was... Isn't he working on that new Fairly Odd Parents show? Oh. Even though he said he... Even though he, like, was retired initially, I don't... Or, like, he got kicked out. I don't know what the fuck is going on at Nickelodeon. There was that big He's documentary that happened with, um... 
like about kids TV recently and like Dan Schneider was a big part of it too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What is yeah. it, Quiet on Set or something? Yeah. I was gonna say change the channel, but that's the nostalgia. <laughs> that's the nostalgia critic one! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, though, a lot of Dan Schneider's older shows, when I was still watching cable, made me want to change the fucking channel. Yeah, hmm? No. What did I, you- I, you I, cut I, out. I have no idea what you even said. Uh, I said, yippee! Oh. Uh, no, I don't know. As a kid, I was weirdly interested in, in Victorious. I don't know why. <laughs> I liked iCarly and what I had seen of Drake and Josh, which wasn't much. Drake and Josh was funny. Drake? No, I th I th Where's I the body of Christ? Liked, I think I only liked Victorious because the girls were pretty. That's, that's like all. Hey, man. But that's fucked up now, <laughs> now with the context of what fucking happened. Yeah. Behind the scenes. I mean, you were a kid. Yeah. Whoa, this is like the best combo I've ever had in the game. Wombo combo. Um... Man... What? Children's TV, man... S how... how... Every aspect of it is, like, super exploitative of everyone who works on it, like... Whether it's animated or live-action. For you different know, reasons, you know, but... You know what I don't like about kids' shows? Is that they all always have to feature kids. Yeah, this like, is a weird know, as... trend that I've noticed in recent years. It's like, when I was a kid, a lot of the shows I I watched as a kid were about, like, adults or teenagers. Yeah. But, like, now every- I feel like every show that is coming out now has to be about kids, and it's like, what the fuck? I would've hated this shit yeah. as a kid! I'm a yeah, kid! Exactly. I don't want to watch a show about kids! I want to watch a show about Danny Phantom! Or fucking, uh... Um, or Rick and Morty- not Rick and Morty! <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Morty! <laughs> Mordecai and Rigby was what I was trying to say. <laughs> I will not to show about Rick and Morty. <laughs> Six-year-old Haynes said. Like, I... I don't know. I guess it's just a big part of changing times. Like, I, I think a big part of it was, um... <coughs> uh, Adventure Time and Gravity Falls uh, really affected, um... Like, how people... Uh, like, uh, the, like that kind of thing. And Steven Universe. Uh, although the cool thing about Adventure Time was that like the main character grew up with the audience. Like I really liked that aspect of the show. Yeah. Um. But stuff like Steven Universe or whatever, I think you had to wait until their sister series or whatever for uh, a Steven that actually grew up. I don't know a lot about Steven Universe post um post uh like Lars dying. Yeah, that's what th that was like the last thing I watched. Wow, nice spoiler, hey, nice spoiler. You weren't gonna watch it. Who gives a shit? Wow, I was totally. I I, gen I, gen I generally just don't watch animated TV anymore, most of the time, unless it's uh, I don't even watch like Bob's Burgers anymore, and I fucking love that show. Um, and it's not because it's it's not because it's animated. I I also just don't generally watch TV in general anymore. That was a fucked sentence right there. I'm 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 in animation school right now, and there's this person. Who came to the Netherlands, right? And she's watched Bob's Burgers the entire way through, probably like three or four times since she since she came here. Oh, <laughs> that was like last year she came here. Finally, does it, Uh Like I, I, I um, that's crazy. Although it's it's a comfort show for a lot of people, myself included. I've definitely mm. watched a good chunk of that that show over and over again because it's just it's really comfortable to watch. Um, also, uh, to get back to what I was saying just a second ago, I, I have not even been interested in watching any of those, like, new, like, um, those new shows, like, Owl House or Amphibia or whatever. Like, oh, uh, yeah, no. More po more power to the, the people that like those shows, but, like, I don't care about, I, I don't know, it just looks like the same shit I already watched with Gravity Falls again. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm not really in target audience for those. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's 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 like I didn't even like Gravity Falls all that much. I I mean I liked it, but it's not it's it's definitely I, aged. I, I, I don't get the hype surrounding it. 
I still, the only one of those shows that I grew up with that I, or the only two of those shows that I grew up with that, that I think are still really good, and even then one of them has a lot of problems, are uh, Adventure Time and Regular Show. Adventure Time is just one of my favorite shows, period, and I, I, I love that uh, the show grew up with the audience. Like, the, the Fiona and Cake stuff is, like, a lot, a, a lot more adult than the earliest season of Adventure Time, and it's really interesting uh, watching that. Uh, and regular yeah. show, which is the one I was talking about that I think has writing problems. Yeah, it's it. I. I kind of feel bad for for kids that like, most of the comedy shows they have always have to need some sort of overarching plot. Yeah, like what 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 happened to shit like SpongeBob? Like that just doesn't. I mean, that still gets made, but like you don't see new yeah. shows like that last at all anymore. No. No, I, I guess the newest one I can think of is like Teen Titans Go or something, you know? Yeah. It's... it's I don't know, I, I... not everything has to be like really serialized, you know? And I'm not against like continuity, but serialization is like... It's ev every show now. Like, like say like something like Zim, like we watched. That show has yeah. crazy good continuity, you know? Yeah. But it's not serialized. You can still watch pretty much any episode. What the hell am I fucking doing here? Ah! I don't belong here! I'm a creep! I'm a weirdo! <laughs> You're a creep. You're a weirdo. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh. Yeah, no, but, um... I think... I oh, think I would have enjoyed Rick and Morty a whole lot more, too. If it wasn't so fucking serialized at some point. I would have liked Rick and Morty more if it made up its fucking mind on what it wanted to be. Yeah. Because it, it feels like the writers are fighting each other on what they want to do with that show. Um, and also, it's just not as funny anymore. But, like, I was fine with the Evil Morty stuff if they were gonna do it, like... Keep, keep it, like, to a, a continuity episode, like, every every uh, every season or whatever. But, like... Yeah. It seemed like they fucking hated... Oh, wow, I got sent really far back here. Um, it seemed like they fucking just didn't know what they wanted to do for that show. That show has a lot of problems, though, to be fair. Yeah. It's a shame, I still I think this... those first two seasons are really good. I hear this new season is good, but I don't trust like that. <laughs> I hear that about every fucking new season of Rick and Morty. I, yeah. I never trust what people have to say about that kind of thing. And I'm just not invested enough to catch up on like fucking five seasons of content now. Like, I just don't care. Oh yeah, Mystic Ode brought up Gumball. That's a good point. Oh yeah, that show, um... Is that- that movie's still getting shipped around, right? I think so. Um, I- I haven't watched that show for a long time. I don't really remember it very well, but I know it's- from what I've seen, it still looks really funny. Yeah. Though, Gumball is relatively old already. That was like 2011 yeah. when that came out? Yeah, that show was uh, around the same era as regular show in Adventure Time, which is fucking crazy yeah. to think about. Uh, I also got- from what I remember, like, from some of the clips I've seen, it got a little too meta, for its own good. Mm. Like, some of the some of the jokes are like, this is... Guys. I, I, I don't know if they do that in abundance, obviously, I haven't seen the show in years. Um... But I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. Master White, pour beans in my mouth. We get back uppies. We get back uppies. <laughs> I fucking love that joke so much. I'm sure Michael Caine will beat him on that. I love that we sound like crazy people every time we make that joke. I'm sure Michael Caine. All right. Master Bruce, where's Michael Caine? Oh. See, because Michael Caine sounds like Michael Caine. Right. Can you please fucking laugh? Right. You don't laugh at anything. Also, welcome to the stream, Mr. Goad. Sorry. I forgot to, uh, to say thank you for joining me. Wow, this power-up um, lasts a lot longer than I remember it lasting. I think Smiling Friends is Shit. also really good at, oh, at yeah, being, like... Mm -hmm. It's not for kids, though. Like, it's not for kids, but it's like every episode is just such a, such a fun... Contained little thing to watch. What would a Smiling Friends for Kids even look like? I'd be so fascinated think, uh, to see that. Honestly, Invader Zim is the closest thing I can think of. I, I, hmm. 
No, no, Gumball actually. Gumball is closer to uh, what Smiling Friends is. Yeah, you know what? Like all the with all the mixed media things. This guy looks straight out of fucking Doom. Oh, is this not what I'm? Oh, right, right, right. I remember now. Yeah. Because I, I I think a character a character oh. like Gwimbley would would fit really well within um, Gumball as well. Oh, absolutely. They might even fit in better in Gumball, because, like, yeah. the whole point of Gwimbley is that he doesn't fit in with his scenery, but there's already, like, major CG characters in that game. Or, show, fuck me. Ew, ew, ew. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Lovely show. That success story is genuinely very, um, inspiring, to be honest. Yeah. Like, just some guys from Newgrounds get their fucking big show. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, they fucking advertised it in the- on that fucking Las Vegas sphere. They yeah. put the big, uh, the big Smiling Friends headquarters on that. If that ever- if that ever happened to, to something I made, I would fucking freak the sh I would freak out. Yeah, uh, dude, I don't- I, I think I would die. I think I'd be dead. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. I think you could also definitely find things- I- I, I mean, I- 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 the, the Owl House looks good, don't get me wrong. It's just not my kind of show anymore. Like, no. if I- I- I mostly watch, like, big- At this point, if I'm watching TV, I'm watching, like, prestige TV now, because, like, I don't really want to waste my time with anything else. It takes me fucking forever to watch TV anyway, as my friend I mean, here can attest to how long it's taken me to watch Breaking Bad and also Better Call Saul. Well, Breaking Bad, you speed ran. I did. Um, I kind of speed ran the first season of Breaking uh, of Better Call Saul too, but that was because I needed um, I needed to stay awake for a while. Saul, so, yeah, you better, you better call, call Saul. Saul. I'm, I'm calling Saul. <laughs> so good. Uncle Grandpa and OKKO OK deserve better. True. <laughs> I love Ian. Uh, OKKO OK is like one of the only shows that I think I would I, I would probably watch now. That's like of its type, because I just love Ian Jane, uh, Jones Cordy's work so much. Um, I watched um, all of Has Been Hotel. You proud of that? You know what? Yes. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. <laughs> I sat through it. I watched it all. And I stood tall. I did it my <laughs> way. <laughs> oh right, Regrets. they fucking turn you around here. I hate. I've this had thing. a few. <laughs> too few to mention. No, I'll, I'll mention them. <laughs> Watching Aspen Hotel is one of them. <laughs> I I watched the first episode of that, and I was like, Oh fuck ye! Oh, I made it anyway. <laughs> I watched the first episode, and I was like, Yeah, this is I I'm done. <laughs> I forget how to put this. This is the most down. obnoxious thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> True. It's X. Okay. What is that from? Oh, it's from Smiling Friends. Yeah. <laughs> fucking zombie chickens. They're ghosts. Zombie I don't chickens? know why they're called zombie chickens when they're fucking yeah, ghosts. They don't look like chickens. They don't look like chickens. They don't look like zombies. They're fucking ghosts! Um, okay. Primal is good. You guys should all watch Primal. Castlevania is also good, although more dis more divisive. Primal. Oh, good. wrong one. I see what I just um, did wrong here. Oh god. Oh god. You know what's also a really fucking good show? Um. Shit, no, no, Blue Eye Samurai. Hmm. It's uh, definitely worth a watch. It's crazy because my my peers in my animation school talk about this on how has been. So, wait, 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 let me let me read that again slowly this time. <laughs> it's crazy because my peers in my anim school talk about how on. Talk about this on how has- Jesus fucking Christ, I cannot read. 
It's crazy. Because <laughs> my peers in my animation school talk about this on how has been hotel is a big deal in terms of indie animation getting picked up but it's the show no i don't I want to pick it back up i haven't watched it i don't you I could don't have just said you haven't seen has been hotel yet that would have been so much easier for king to read yeah yeah this on how that 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 kept fucking me up it's like what the fuck <laughs> Pick up the fucking egg. Um, I've seen too much of Ivzy's stuff at this point. Like, the only one I think is actually somewhat enjoyable is Hell of a Boss, and I still think it has huge writing problems. Yeah. I've been watching Primal, actually. I'm halfway through season two. Goomba, you're, you're, you're based. You are based. Thanks again for that fan art, by the way, that you drew uh, for Chill Issue ages ago. That oh, shit yeah, dude. fucked. We're never doing another episode of Chill Issue, though. True. No, we are. At, <laughs> at some point. <laughs> I hope so, it was fun. I'm sorry, Kane. Don't apologize, it's funny. That was content, man. That was content. I love the word content. I, um, I hate how they made the zombie chicken scarier here than in 2. I'm gonna be honest, I never found them scary in either game. Wow, you're, you're, you're a brave little toaster, you. Oh, I need a Canarin. Come here, you fucker! What the hell? Wasn't there one just standing right here? Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, one of these fucking- one of the lines from the Canarin fucking is so skin-crawling to me. Stick bamboo under his nails! Horrible. Horrible concept. That's like an actual torture method, too. My dad Getting could sick. beat up your dad! <laughs> they have fun lines. They do. And Gumsy. I think we'll call it once we finish the, uh, desert. Yeah. Kane saying it's crazy and about of motivation to get his words right is very dear to me. Do I do that? <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to it. I think I say it's wild a lot. You do. But I like that, so I'm not changing it's it. Your, it's your iconic I'm wild quote. <laughs> my icon. <laughs> my iconic Gwimbly dance. I love that that man adds iconic to fucking everything that he says. <laughs> yeah, true. Make him write bad checks! Oh, that's a minimus. That's a, that's a grand minimus right there. With the crown and everything. Mm. I watched um that that ramshackle pilot. Oh, I haven't, I haven't watched that yet. Oh, I, I I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I really liked the um the original thesis film. Uh, I'm excited to watch the um the sh the yeah. pilot too. It's it, it's it's a lot more in insane than I was anticipating. It's 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 not quite smiling friends level, obviously, but it yeah. it, it is uh. <laughs> they do some stuff that's really out of left field, and I appreciate it. Oh, I cannot see the fucking ground here anymore. Oh, this yeah, is no, pitch looking, fucking black. I'm looking at your screen right now. Holy fuck! <laughs> this is this is gonna be a bit tough, I think. Uh, please be a platform. Oh, okay, it's it's vines. Heard it through the grapevine. I was referring to when you read the chat mass message. Okay, thank you. Oh, message. Oh, message. Massage. 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 Okay, I made it. <laughs> Somehow. Ow. Fucking dialogue. <laughs> I think I might have my brightness a little too low. Can you change that? Uh, I don't know if I can change that in-game. Uh... Oh. Opciones. Oh, I could send it to 16x9, that's kind of funny. I I'm gonna keep it as 4x3 though, just for consistency's sake.
Why is it so dark? I legit cannot Just fucking see anything. Mr. Dark reference. Yes, yeah, true, that's why. Isn't it- there's a rocket power up in here somewhere that I'm supposed to use, right? Oh my god, <coughs> stop showing me Rayman's ass! Any other day, I'd be fine with it. I have to hit the gong. Yeah, here we go. You hit the gong. I did I hit the bong. I did hit the gong. I hit the gong. The gong. Gongi. Okay, so now I know there's a grapple somewhere in this room that I cannot fucking see for the life of me. I'll just w hope the fucking reticle shows up somewhere. What did I just do? What the I hell did know. I just do? Something stupid knowing you. Was I supposed to do what I just did? Oh and shit. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. It's a song. It is. And if you sing it too good, I'll get a copyright claim. That's a real thing that can happen. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you... I'll, I'll, I'll... Well... You got nothing I'll to apologize and, for. I'll try and temper my uh, angelic singing voice. I can't believe I'm getting through this level right now with how fucking difficult it is to see. Good job. Why do you have to replace your hard drive? What's on your original hard drive? What do you mean? Chapo. No! <laughs> I was trying to dance around it without- <laughs> What do you mean? It was just Kung Fu Panda 2. I hate your guts, dude. <laughs> do I have to go... Down? This fucking game is so fucking confusing so many fucking times. Master Bruce. Master Rayman 3 is so fucking confusing, Master Bruce. Master Bruce. <laughs> Master Bruce. I can't play Rayman 3, Master Bruce. Alfred! Alfred, you're pressing X button to jump! <laughs> Shut the fuck up about Rayman 3, Alfred! But it's my favorite game on the GameCube. Master Bruce. <laughs> on the GameCube, Master Bruce. <laughs> you should be playing Batman Begins on the GameCube. The only good Batman game is Batman Arkham City. <laughs> L plus ratio, Master Bruce. <laughs> Stop talking about your dance! <laughs> Such a funny line of dialogue. Master Boos. You're a mean one. Master, Master Boos. Boos. <laughs> You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as a new. Mm, Master Bruce. Uh oh. Did they find me? How did oh, they find me? Yeah. Hey, stop. You stop. What is happening? What is happening? Okay. I don't. I don't know what the fuck that was. I just realized I think I've had it set to top messages this whole time instead of new ones. Oh, me too. Oh no, I had it set right. Life chat. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Run, run. Hit the gong. It will attract the Canaran. Okay. Okay, thanks. I could have actually gotten away with that if that didn't fucking happen. I did not know that that was the thing that happened in this game. Yeah, it only happens if you get hit by Canaran enough. <laughs> Him just appearing on screen like that. That's. That's wild. Little grasshopper. Oh, fuck you! You fucking I I, dick! I, I think they they can hear your the, the sound of you walking. Maybe that's why. The stealth isn't programmed that well. Bro, what the fuck do you mean? Why did, the, why did they just selectively have peripheral vision? Okay, I guess I have a rocket this time. 
Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Cool, more health. Oh, you're doing it. You're doing it. We're so close to the racist teensy, everybody. <laughs> the racism percent speed run is almost over. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. I guess I get that teensy? How the hell? Wait, I can't fucking hit that. I can't, I can't even see where I'm fucking shooting. I don't think this is what you're supposed to be doing. I want to get this team sheet. Oh, fine, okay. I'll just hit that fucking gong again, whatever. Oh no, the third doctor. What do you mean? He's the best one! He's Jontron's favorite. Oh, is he racist? Who, Jontron? The third doctor. Yeah, he's the the do yeah. Remember? Oh, I thought you were talking about Doctor Who. <laughs> no, John Pertwee is not racist. Okay. Well, I think I hope. <laughs> Just like well, okay. <laughs> It'd be really funny for somebody to play the Doctor and then somehow be racist. Like, that's just antithetical to the character you you played for, like, probably upwards of five years. I think The Rock turned out to be, like, a weirdo recently. Every celebrity's a fucking weirdo. Yeah. But he went on... on uh, he went on this whole tangent where he was like, oh, woke culture... That was weird. I was like stuck on that wall. I forgot how long this fucking part of the game goes on for. I would have I would have sworn we got to Gumsy already at this point. Or uh, what's his name? This is a really oh. easy tell here to know. Or, well, there, there is if you can see it. But there's a really, there's a tell to which of these fall apart and which ones don't. I think they're like a lighter, like you can see the seam. Uh, yeah, like right there. Hmm. I think. Well, wish me well, luck because I, I, I can't fucking see for the life of me here. Yeah, because it's fucking dark as shit. Okay. Why does that destroy your ego? I don't know. <laughs> Except ironically, Weird Al. Yeah, Weird Al seems like a genuinely really cool guy. I hope that stays true. I hear he's weird. I hear he's Al. Yeah, that's, that's just preposterous. I don't. I don't why would you even I think say I that? Go this way. There we go. Second try. I did it! Are you proud of me? Nothing you could ever do would make me proud of you. I'm always proud of you, son. Wait, send to the side here. Uh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I can't go... The end of the hallway. End of the hallway. To, to the... Yeah, go there. Okay. Ugh. You. What am I doing? Why did you tell me to do that? No, no never mind. I thought it was, this was a different section. Oh. Um. Hmm. Oh, the music kind of skipped right there. That was weird. Ow. Oh, yeah, there's the boss battle at the end of this section. 
thought you were about to say the boss baby. Yeah, the boss baby is also at the end of the section. I gotta stop doing that before I land on the fucking platform. What? Oh. Yeah, um, th this part. Stand to the side of the of the room. Like here? Like when the... Um, are they headed, headed in your direction yet? Oh, they are. Okay, cool. Oh, that's, uh... That's pretty Dang. funny. <laughs> Freaking sweet lawish. Freaking sweet lawish. Hello, record shop! Please do tell if you have a record of Normal Al in stock! <laughs> normal Al! <laughs> still, nope, still cannot do recipe voices. That take- doing- doing that voice takes a lot out of your fucking lungs. A lot more than I remember it taking. What was this guy's name again? I remember um, Gumsy, I don't remember the name of this guy. Jimbo. Ah, uh, what was his name? Somebody in chat's gonna say it, I might as well just well, wait. Leptis? No, Leptis or... is like their god. Oh. <laughs> Gurney. Rayman, over here! What? Silence! What was his name? Rayman, Reflux. Reflux, oh, okay. Like acid reflux. Get him, Rayman! Make him eat his hood! Why don't you shut up, you stupid toad? Now, reflux is my champion. I could have just waited for him to say the fucking name of the character in the game. Do you really believe that a winless little runt has a chance against him? No, but really, I'm sure your friend will shine in the arena when reflux is burning his corpse! Oh. Hey, hello. I'm I'm a back. Welcome back, Mark. We are Mark we're producer. about to beat we're about to beat Reflux. Reflux. That's his name now. Reflux. And then we're gonna stop playing. I think. Yeah. Oh fuck. How much game is there still left after the after uh, this? Not much, right? We're basically like halfway through at this point now. I think we might even be over halfway through. Yeah. Let me actually look that up. Rayman 3 playthrough. There's still the snow level after this, I believe. I forgot that part of the game happened. Yeah, we're about halfway through. Yeah, maybe if I stream the game again, we'll we'll, we'll get Kane on and we'll finish it up. And maybe start a little earlier because like I suggested we do to Kane, but then he didn't fucking respond to my message. Hey, fuck you. That's my, response to the, that's my response to that. <laughs> I don't know when I'll stream again. It'll, it'll probably be, if I ever do again, it'll probably just be on the weekends. Because I got shit to do. I got videos to work on. Making this guy the main villain was kind of lame. Hmm. Like, I know he still works with Andre, but... Uh, man. The giant? Yeah. Yeah, no, Andre is way more entertaining. Hey, Kane, can't read... I can't read what that says because there's a fucking heart in my way. Hey, Kane, can't read. Don't be mean to him. Hey, Kane can't read, okay. Oh, that's mean. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah. This fucking game. This fucking game. This game fucking sucks, I don't like it. True. 
It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad if you're from Sweden. Right. This game sucks. Thank you, Chris. True. Oh my god, is he ever gonna stop fucking doing this attack? No. Bro! Can I play the fucking game?! This attack is just where he lives. Pain, let out your gamer rage. I need to collect health. The health gives you so little back. I wonder how speedrunners handle this boss fight. Because it does go on for a while. Yeah. Um... They get good at the game. Maybe. Shut up. I think that brings us into phase two now? Or does that happen when he's at like half health? Is his head transparent on PC? Is that a thing? It's probably just a rendering error. Ow. Fuck you! I miss when games look like this. Same. Is that because I'm a boomer? Yes. But games also were just better back then. Yeah. Kind of. Some some games are still really good, but... Why do you, why do you keep collecting those things when he's vulnerable? When he's not vulnerable? Or when he... Because he's not vulnerable like, when he's doing that one attack in the middle. Yeah, no, but like the the second he becomes vulnerable, because I'm I'm you just because go I'm back. because I'm worried it'll run out. Okay. That was a very quick, quick answer. <laughs> they really don't want you to fucking cheese this part. You're still doing this, boss. Nebula says you're not even halfway. Wow, wow. This. You're the most frustrating human being I've ever met in my fucking life, Nab. <laughs> he says this to everyone, by the way. <laughs> True! It's because everyone is obnoxious except for me. Oh yeah, we're finally into phase two. Okay. Phase two! Oh, I didn't know I could hit him like that. Oh my god, that would have been really helpful to know ages ago! <laughs> I want to grab it again, though. What's he doing? Ow. What the hell are you doing? Kill me! Just jump on me now, motherfucker! Jump on me now, motherfucker! I'm a motherfucking enemy! Oh? That's what you're supposed to do! I hope he's alright. Hmm? Whoever made that video, I forget his name. Yeah, I hope he's doing Blaze well. the movie fan. Oh, okay, uh, he just... I If I get hit, he'll do this attack. I see now. Let me, let me look up Blaze the movie fan. Owie. Oh, he's still making videos. He uploaded a video two hours ago. You cannot do that. I was mistaken. It's just because I got hit at the same time as I threw a punch. Uh, he will uh, cancel the attack, I guess, if you get hit. So, maybe getting hit is actually viable in this fight? Maybe. Yeah, because he, immedi he immediately goes into this part where you can hit him again. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna grab some health again. Up. Oh. Hey, just beat him already. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up your face! 
And if you don't beat him right now, I will not be okay. Oh my god, why don't you just shut up? I don't think I can handle that. Shut the fuck up. Shut the up. Shut the up. Tony used to love cheeseburger. <laughs> what? <laughs> this fucking sound effect is so out of place here. I don't know. I made that connection because there's this... <laughs> This meme of of the, uh, you know the meme of of of, of Robert Downey Jr. going like oh, like that that black uh, and white photo of him with like his uh, his hand on his chest. Yeah, the, the camera like oh, yeah. Um, I saw a meme like that and it was captioned shut the shut the up. <laughs> okay. And, and it fucking killed me and that's why what? I thought of Tony used to love cheeseburger. Okay, well this should be the last hit then. Hit me. Do it. Yeah, get fucked! There are cheeseburgers outside my house. Well, there we go. That's Ring Man Three for now. I could see, I could see me and Kane in the in the near future finishing up this one, because it's a very short no. game. Okay, never mind. Never mind. You can all get fucked, everybody. Do we get to see racism, Doctor? Now. Uh, do we want to go that, uh, I think I, there's still a good chunk of level left for that. Because mm, okay. I have, I think I have to do the ice stuff, right? Uh, yeah. Cutscene. Pre-rendered. Cutscene. <laughs> Tony used to love cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the MCU is such a fucking mess now. It is. <coughs> I, I love that this is just a callback to Rayman 1. It's the, it's the little, uh, that taunt he does in Rayman 1. It's cute. Dude, biggest white whale is the is the real life statue. The big one, you know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have never noticed that seam on the bottom of Rayman in this cutscene or in this game. Hmm. Well. Beast Churger. Beast Churger. Beast Churger! <laughs> I forgot how to... Don't you... Oh, you have to press circle when there's a white... Uh, a black lum on, on screen. I don't know why. <laughs> a white lum. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us, everybody. Um, we will continue Rayman 3 maybe another time. Um, but for now, we're done. We're done! Go home! Leave. Why are you still here? Fuck off! God. Get out of my fucking house! Go home. Go back to your kids and your wife. You're fucking old. <laughs> Go back to your family, dude. <laughs>